Welcome everyone to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candlekeep Mysteries module. My name is Buddy and I'm helming this adventure while our normal friendly neighborhood DM Ryan is on hiatus with his new baby. Let's see who we all have here tonight, shall we? That sentence got away from me. Tonight we have <laughs> Madeline playing Mina, the Aladrin Hexblade Warlock. Amy playing Riala, the Asimar Life Cleric. Nathan playing Bertram, the half-orc paladin monk. Lee playing Carolus, the Yuan-Ti pureblood warlock of the genie. Harry playing Redis, the human artificer. And Rodney playing Cesar, the human tempest cleric. How is everyone tonight? Fantastic. Super cool. Good. I had a monster like an hour ago. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You may have an my, idea later. Uh, <laughs> my coffee's on order. It should be here soon. <laughs> this is decaf. I, uh, I, uh, I just I throw a caveat tonight. I'm broadcasting from my mom's house with my portable stream rig, and I think I have all the kinks worked out, but if anything happens, I'm sure everyone will vamp to cover, and you won't even know that something happened. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> since we aren't in the library, let's gather around the campfire because it is so damn cold up here in the mountains where we are. Ooh, are you allowed to say Last that? week. <laughs> uh, it is so show? damn chilly up here in the mountains. <laughs> I meant the gather around the campfire so damn part. Frigid. I thought Ryan had a oh. trademark that. Uh oh, oh you know, he's, he's not watching. <laughs> he's not watching. I mean, this isn't like going to be forever on the internet, is it? No. Yeah. Uh, last week. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, last week, our characters continued to explore the cave system, finding what was once a bedroom, presumably of the wizard Zikrin. They reached the door of his laboratory, only to find a bronze dragon had taken over the space as his lair. An image of Zikrin taunted them, and Redis tried to hoodwink their new dragon friend to get his coral crown. The party pressed on south and met Mick Featherlight, the proprietor of a base camp who sold the party some climbing supplies. Carolus and Riala felt as though they had found a long-lost brother in Mick, but alas, they, had, they and the party had to leave him at the base camp and ascend the Cloud Peaks. The next couple of days were spent climbing, and the party spent time discussing their upcoming reward, a casting of the spell Wish, and what they might do with it. On the third morning, as they popped out of their magic lamp sanctuary, they were immediately set upon by two abominable yeti who had been tracking them. Not finding the two Yeti enough of a challenge, Cesar used Thunder Wave to trigger an avalanche. Barely three minutes into their adventuring day, our heroes are already taking a short rest. And that we is an where idea. we... <laughs> I, I stand by it. And that, that is where we rejoin everyone. So, friends. A short rest and someone built a fire... I... Did we, hate uh, the mountains? What are we burning up here? So much. <laughs> what aren't we burning up here? Well, that's man? a good question. I mean, you could roast Yeti. And some Yeti bacon. I mean, the fat alone. It's yeah. <laughs> true. Does no one have uh, have have any tinder or firewood with them? I've got adventuring supplies from the good fellow down the mountain. That's true. Does yeah, do their do. climbing supplies box. come with uh, come with wood? Well, I have ten torches. I could just uh, you know pile those up together. <laughs> That's true. You could pile the torches up. You could set your ropes on fire. I mean, why would let's, you? Okay, we're in a mountain. Ropes? Let's not with the oh, ropes. I got ten torches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just you know we're, we're gonna say between some 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 torches and some other bits and bobs and yeti fat. You guys can get a, a fire going enough to keep you warm for the uh, for the duration of your of your short uh, short rest. Okay. Uh, anything to discuss? Do you guys just want to take an hour? Do you want to take a little more than that? What are you guys thinking? I forgot I have a tinderbox. So I, I've got fireball. <laughs> we don't need a tinderbox. Okay, fine. <laughs> I got excited. Okay. That Fireball's yeah. a little overkill. <laughs> What the tinder box? You just keep oh. keep casting it to keep warm off of it. Ooh, cast it again. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> For all our spell slots. That's great. <laughs> so. uh, okay. Any any? Just an hour. Do you guys want to stay a little longer? What What do you want to do this morning? I think we'll just. It's it is eight oh three and just. You've been round yeah. roundly Ooh. roundly abused and 
Redis has been unconscious twice, I think. Cesar was down to single digit hit points. It's yeah, fine. Clunk it's five, good. Clunk four was down to single digit hit points, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good day. Just, I'm on just max hit points. I'm assuming we rested because I'm on max hit points. Yeah, yeah, we did a short uh, rest. There was a there was there was also a prayer of a prayer of healing to that that like fixed your splinter in your finger, Carolus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember complaining um, about losing three. <laughs> that's, oh, I got a hangnail. Uh, all right, so if that's all you guys no, no, want to do and you want to continue on, then uh, we'll say that you finished and anything that you recover on a short, uh, you go ahead and recover if, if it's slots or or uses of your other specialties. Uh, please recover those. Roll hit dice if you would like or need to. It's glad we left. And as soon as you are ready. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be level six, isn't it? I Wait, wonder what? how prepared we are. <laughs> Sikram and his floating castle and his elemental cannon. I forgot about the elemental cannon. Yes. It's Bear in mind the elemental cannon, <laughs> because it'll How be focused on a, on a approach, I imagine. How hmm. could you forget about the elemental cannon? What can I do about that? You can give it to me once we liberate it from Zikram. And you can turn it on him then. Yeah, and you could yes. mount it to, uh, to Clunk 4. I can make Clunk 4 a quadruped. I've got a name for this. <laughs> some kind of some kind of locomotive tank mobile. <laughs> I mean a a four legged a four legged little I mean that might be kinda cool and he wouldn't I mean it'd be cuter than like that monstrosity that is usually walking around. <laughs> Bite your tongue. Are we talking about are we talking about Redis or are we talking about or clunk? <laughs> are, you, are you talking to me? That's all. <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys finish your short, and uh, and and head back out. The I will say that the 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 cold is colder. The wind is blowing stronger. The the high altitude is starting to the thin thin air is starting to kind of take its toll a little bit. Um, I thought you were gonna say you, you're moving... the cold is colder, the wind is windier. Hmm. I did too. <laughs> For a moment, I thought about it, and I was like, "No, that's that's silly." Um, and so you guys are you're not moving at half speed. It's a little faster than that, but it is it's definitely kind of getting getting to be more of a slog. Um, and so we're gonna. We'll go a couple of hours in. You don't notice anything other than it being difficult. And now I'm going to need a group survival check, please. Whoa. What could go wrong here? What, on the old crack and dice? On the old crack and dice. <laughs> oh, I 16. Oh, I rolled a 19. Plus 3. 16. 11. 22. It's all going to go down here. And I'm here like. I got a 10. 12. So, once again, the deciding factor is going to come down to clunk, because that's oh, three points that he fails. I swear to God, this bucket of bolts. Right, okay, uh, he's got a flat 20 for this, so... 18. This is not bad for a robot. Or uh, automaton. You, you know what? That that passes the DC. Uh, so, you guys, uh, you, you, start to, you start to kind of veer, veer off a little bit of the path and... and as a group, you make a better choice and and uh, and, and continue to to slog forward. And it just every every step seems like it's you know twenty that you're taking, and it just it's it's just more and more and more oppressive. And you almost begin to wonder maybe I don't hate wizards as much as I think I do. Hmm. No, I don't wonder that. <laughs> no, no, no one does no, that. I, I just want to make sure. For the one that this this one, yeah. for this one, no, he's got a death wish. Yeah, yeah. No. I hate wizards and making their stupid castles of stupid mountains. Why? <laughs> Who finds this atmosphere comfortable over the yetis and giants? Not a stupid well, fish well, person. Well, I got, I got allergies, so like being up in the in the mountain helped really clear out my sinuses. With so with this pollen in the air, you know, I, I breathe a lot better up here. Surely you'd be more and, comfortable uh, near the sea, Caesar. Yeah, because there's no pollen out on the sea. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, Thunderwave doesn't cause an avalanche in the sea. 
Because um, other things. All right, so you, you guys, <laughs> Todd wife. <laughs> so you guys climb for the better part of the day, and and you you finally get to what surely must be the last bit of it, and you you're you're looking at a a forty foot high slanted cliff face that, I mean that that's the only way forward. It's kind of rocks on the left and rocks on the right, and so everyone is going to have to make the ascent. Uh, which would be a, an athletics check to climb the cliff face. Unless you have a magical ability, if, you, if someone wants to teleport or someone wants to fly, you can do that and um, and basically skip the, the athletics check. I will fly. I'm climbing. Does all the stuff we bought help with that at all? Not great. <laughs> uh, uh, sure, so the... the the climbing gear, the like all the different stuff that you have, we're gonna say that you will have advantage on your check. Thank goodness. Um Good call Rio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Carolus has flown up. Mm-hmm. Wait, how um, how far is it? Forty feet. Forty feet, yeah. Mm. Is it one check for all forty feet? Or is it gonna be like yes. a series? Okay. Yeah, one one check one check for all forty feet. I'm I got a to... 21. Oh, wow, you nailed it. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to give myself guidance before right. I start climbing. Look at Bertram Head doing backflips up the cliff. Let's show off. I'm just <laughs> I'm just no no legs, just like hand over hand, <laughs> <laughs> like a pheasant climbing the cliffs. I'm just flying. I got a... Come on, everyone. 18. 18. 18 for Cesar. <laughs> okay. We just uh, looking a bit crestful and how athletic everybody is. I got a 16. Come on, Rita, so I'll give you some guidance. Four. Uh, I, I'm doing it, I'm just calculating my path up the cliff. And I, I'll hang on to um, Clunk and have him climb because he's got a better athletic score than I have. I will offer guidance to Clunk then. All right, I'll. If if you're gonna hang on to Clunk, then he can use the guidance, but he will not be rolling it at advantage. Uh, yeah, he has sure. your your meat sack hanging off of his neck. <laughs> Absolutely, that's just the way it is for Clunk all his yeah. life. So twelve on the dice plus his natural two in athletics and two in strength, um, sixteen plus guidance, uh, which is four. Um, it to 19, so not bad. All right, I think the only person I'm missing is Mina. Yeah, um, so I would misty step up there, but it's only 30 feet. So I guess I'll have to climb, and okay, that's a 19. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Everyone passed. Okay. <laughs> I was supposed to say, like, that, I don't, mm, mm. Like you did. I just, I, I was, there's an, there's an effect that happens if you fail the save, and I was hoping, but you all actually have really good, uh, either really good athletics or your crack and dice just rolled really, really well for you. It didn't or let me down. Liars. I didn't, I didn't roll. Any or you liars. <laughs> it, could, it could be any of that. Yeah, Carolus just burns a spell slot. He, uh, he's like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Well, this man needs to throw Yetis at us, but we conquered this 40-foot cliff. <laughs> They'll sing songs of this day. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at this thing. Ooh. They're so tiny. Yeah, this is a so massive... tiny. Oh, no. Massive no. map. <laughs> Wait. Is anybody well, intimidated, like... else intimidated by how far they had to scroll? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I... I, I will say this is a map from the the module. It is not one that I have created. Uh, but you're right. Looking at your tiny forms there, it it is a little shocking. Oh, the music. So that's what your dead too. bodies will look like. I feel so small, <laughs> all of a sudden. Uh, okay, the mountainside splits, and you're, there's a natural cleft in the rock. Um, so it's you, 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 the the path out in front of you is is much. It, it's got snow and frost on it, but it's not as deep as it has been. Uh, the the sheer 
walls on either side you think must be shielding some of that weather pattern from it. Um, there are some kind of dotted along the side paths. There are some sort of blue shrubbery kind of growing out of the, the frozen ground. They look kind of kind of scraggly, but it's obviously a plant that has learned to grow in this kind of climate and just hard scrabble. So what do you guys do? Is this how far we can see through the blizzard? Uh, well, there's no real blizzard up here. Is that does that open sixty for you? Because I can yeah, that's 60, I can open yeah, more so. if. No, no, that's that's okay. fine. It's just making sure. Yeah. It does look like there's some. That kind was of a lucky guess at path formation. Coming. Uh, you can roll an investigation if you'd like on that. Sure, I got plus five in that, so that is a thirteen. Yeah, if you get down on your hands and knees and kind of brush away some of the snow and ice, you, you can you can kind of see that it is a little different. Maybe it's maybe it's a little more packed or maybe it's a little bit worn. That there there definitely does seem like it is some sort of path uh path here in the in the middle. Who has Gazray right now? I got him confiscated off me. I think that yeah. Mina has him. Yep, okay. that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, I think Mina, Mina's good that. hands. Mina's good hands for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that Redis doesn't know that. And no. Redis probably no. thinks that he absolutely Redis has, has the him. fake, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. I gave him the fake. Okay. I've got him right here. And I I'll tap my belt. <laughs> good, good. You, you hold tight to him, Redis. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally, I'll also go and investigate this rock over here for a second. <laughs> I want, if you want to talk to Gazray, I want to preserve this idea that I don't know it's him, but okay. <laughs> Have we got to the point I where we the idea were told... That... Sorry, uh, that we were told to split off from the main path? Have we reached that point yet? Yeah, that was that was at that was at the end of day one. Okay, okay, okay. So you you've Just been on check. kind of un, uncharted, yeah, uncharted territory for the last couple of days. Um, I love the idea though that that Redis is arguing with the fake book. He's like, "Well, fine, you <laughs> son of a bitch. If you don't want to come talk to me, I'll just yeah. put you deeper in the bag of holding." Yeah. <laughs> How stupid is Redis that if he doesn't come out of the book, he doesn't know it's the fake yeah. one? I feel like as an artificer, you're probably well, pretty smart. So no, I, I'm smart, but I'm not. And if you remember that, the, the cover lost. of the book, the the fake book that you had made, was only about 85, 90 percent mm -hmm. as good as the other was. I think I think you would notice it pretty quickly if you if you scrutinized it. Okay, but I'm not laying him out anyway, so I wouldn't know by now. <laughs> So this path looks like pathy, right? Like I think. Yes. Path is pathy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be darned mm -hmm. if this isn't the pathiest path I've ever seen. And then, uh, well, walk along it a bit, and you... uh, hey? keep my eyes out for a silhouette of some kind of floating keep, perhaps. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. Can we look up. So why don't you like, guys take some? We look up. A <laughs> floating key. <laughs> Twenty feet uh, away. No, it, it seems like that this is a a an extremely deep natural crevasse. I mean, maybe maybe it's a hundred ish feet up. Uh, maybe it's eighty. It's it's a long way. I mean, unless you have a kind of a skill that would that you would think would let you know that, like stone cutting or something. It uh, it it seems like it is a a gouge that is a, a very deep gouge that you're in. Okay. Which you're thankful for because it is blocking a lot of the the snow and the and the wind and the storm. That windy wind. It's a prime place. The, the windiest. Of, the wind is not as windy here. <laughs> <laughs> wind light. Shall we uh, right, press well. on with caution? Uh, yeah, let's start walking. Yeah, we want Clunk to walk like 10 feet ahead of everyone, so if there is an ambush, that hopefully they'll mistake him for like the vanguard. Uh, am I still flying at this point? An yeah. ambush? <laughs> In this uh, how long is your flight? 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, I would say so. It was, uh, they they all got up, it took them a couple of minutes to get up, you know, maybe, maybe three or four minutes. And we've only been here for 
you know, let's say, you know, three, three, three or four minutes. So you've got a little bit of flight left. Yeah. Cool. Can I see anything up front? With 120 feet of dark. Front. Oh, yeah, you've got. Goodness gracious, I forgot you had such a. Why, what big eyes you Such have. a manner. Uh, let me s Such manly eyes. Let me eyes. see where that. Was that the devil sight sort of thing? Was yeah. That... Yeah. Ooh, Do I have yeah. that too? 20. Uh, only if you took it. So I'm going to do a, a large polygon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a large polygon reveal and uh, Careless will just be explaining to everybody what it looks like up here. How many bad guys there are and such. A rock lay there. Careless. Some more what do your devil there. eyes see? A rock and snow. Dragon. <laughs> Ooh. Dragon. More path. There's, I made six cups of it, so it's full. It's full. <laughs> made six cups of coffee. I think that was the coffee. So delivery. you guys should all take Thanks, one. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cup for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you see. It is it's currently more of the same. She beating him up. Uh, you don't see. You don't see anyone or, or, or anything. I don't trust it. I listen out. Okay, make a perception check, please. I perceive with a plus seven. 16 plus seven, 23. <laughs> you can, with a 23, you can hear long, long way away and, and behind you, the kind of the wind whipping, but you don't, you don't hear any kind of creatures are walking or talking or you don't hear anything other than the wind above and behind you the windy wind i hear the windy wind <laughs> i see the white see. snow interesting well i don't see any reason we can't push on it's a trap i tell you there's a battle map <laughs> we carry on just Everything's a trap. This is a trap. That's a trap. It's all. It's all a trap. Yeah. We Just... are approaching the wizard's fortress, so we should expect that we are expected. I'll try to bring up the rear as much as possible and be the the rear guard, because if anything okay. pops off, I can usually get to the front pretty quickly. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so it, for now, the, the the rear looks fine. At any point that you want to make a perception, just let me know, and uh, we can do that. Okay. Uh, all right, let's How see if you guys here? have earned any more. Yeah, How high 100 foot they? high. Uh, so that, 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 that's what Riala looked at earlier, that it's, you know, at least 80 or 100 feet is, is what kind of the best guess is. Oh, okay. It's a deep, natural crevasse. Okay. I will... And I will say that it, it does look, it does not look like it is, has been hewn. It looks as though it is, this is a natural crevasse. Okay. How I'm high gonna... can you fly, Carolus? As high as I wish. Perhaps you should go up and see what you can see over. I will go up and have a look. Okay. Are you going to go all the, all the way? Yes. Yeah. So you, you fly, you, you like fly straight up. You, to the to the the top of the uh the 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 crevasse there and yeah the 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 same blinding snow and an even heavier wind since it's you know a, a much higher elevation than you were at is up there and i need you to make an acrobatic save to not be buffeted into the wall gosh i'm in the middle but i see what you mean ah I rolled a That's 10. 140 feet higher than you had yeah. been. Rolled a 10 plus 3. 13. Yes, it, it, it manhandles you a little bit up there, but it, it does not bring you to crashing into the walls or anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> You've reached like, the oh, edge no, of the I'm map. That kind of stream, folks. <laughs> where, where, where it's, you start taking damage if you go beyond the limits yeah. of the map. <laughs> that, uh, that's that, that kind of stream, folks. Uh, yeah, your your flight is is soon up, so you should probably make a decision pretty quickly on if you're going to come all the way down or 
Do you, do, do you go into Featherfall if it ends while you're flying? No, but I can just activate some, it again. Some flights do that. Yeah, I can activate okay. it again. That's not an issue. What is your plan? Are you going to come back down and talk I, to the party? Yeah, I, I will obviously look up. as far as I can. And if I don't see anything, I'll come back down. Yeah, for, from from straight up where you are, the, the, this is kind of the limit of, of how far you can see. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will... Not a lot of light in here. It's just kind of milky light at the moment. Awesome. I will hop her back down. What did you see? Uh, yes. Already. More snow, snow. Rocks. Rocks. I saw Ice. Jimmy the Brush over yonder. <laughs> <laughs> the brush. I thought we killed him in Candlekeep long ago. <laughs> he, is, he is a wizard. Thwarted again. <laughs> Jimmy the Brush, recurring villain returning to the campaign. <laughs> uh, He's the one who painted just... your faux book at the printers. Oh, there you go. Uh. <laughs> I guess um, we should just continue to press yeah, on. Yeah, we'll continue on. Yes. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's go. Let's go, clunk. Why am I? I'm like, the, I'm like the weakest one. I'm going forward All first. Right. Yeah, but you're up in the air. We're sending Clunk first. Yeah, yeah. I am Clunk's up in the air. So I'm about forty feet up. Absorb any elemental uh, cannon okay. blows. Okay, you, your, uh, your, your, your flight will be coming to an end as, probably once I, once I finish doing this area reveal. But you, uh, for the moment. You are okay. Yeah, the polygon reveal is so slow tonight. So, you are out of town, so. Yeah. Has your mum made you tea? <clears throat> I am. Uh, she has not made me tea. This, this is we don't. Well, she, she, she's, we drink sweet tea here, but I don't like sweet tea, so. What? <laughs> What's sweet tea? <laughs> That's like normal there tea for us. Yes. And that's, that's some just, horrifying that's just tea. creature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, so at, guys. Go on, go on. at the end of your vision, Carolus, <laughs> oh, uh, you see two uh, very large ghostly forms. Uh, I mean, if you were to say, wow, those look like ghosts of giants. I wouldn't say that you were necessarily incorrect, okay. uh, but they right. they are moving kind of slowly and they are moving in your direction. Uh, maybe they seem like they're ghosts on a sentry, sentry patrol. Do they seem like they've noticed us? I... They do not seem like they have noticed you yet. Awesome. I I... Is, is it Carolus can see this? this? This is beyond most of your sights, but Carolus okay, yeah, can, just, just can see this. Right now. I uh, I warn the group by hexing one and firing two Eldritch Blasts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one way to do it. Which, oh my god. So, before before you fire the hex, roll me a perception. Hang on, how far away? Because I don't know if hex can reach. <laughs> well, I get to roll a perception with my Kraken dice. A 16 again? God, my dice are on fire yeah. tonight. So, 23. They're about... They're about a yeah, they're about 110 feet from you. Um, check hex. The the one on the left. Uh, this one here. Yes. Seems to be a little more ethereal, like like you can kind of see through him a little more than the one on the right. It's almost like he's not fully phased in to where you are. That makes little difference to an Eldritch Blast. Um, I will fly 30 feet forward, so I'm within 90 feet. Okay. And I, and I will hex. Uh, let me see where that is. I will warn the group as I'm doing so. <laughs> hey guys, I'm popping some shit off. Got to go. Oh, I, I don't, <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I, don't, I don't need to go that far forward. Um, I will hex and fire two Eldritch Blasts towards the first one. Okay. Uh, do you have to roll a, a, a hit for your hex? Uh, nope. <clears throat> I do have to roll a hit to Eldridge Blast. So we just see you firing okay. into the white ether, pretty much. Yeah, well, uh, there they are. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, who is? <laughs> who is it, Carlos? It's, it's them. 
Uh, first one's a 15. <laughs> that one, they're over there. Uh, the next one's a 21. Oh uh, those both miss, and what? you feel like the the hex that you put on that one didn't really kind of stick to him. God, mm. God damage! Ah, it's just an illusion. And I curse myself for wasting the spell <laughs> slot. <laughs> As Carolus didn't respond to my "Who is them?" I'll just turn around to the party and say, "They're over there." <laughs> <laughs> I'll just shrug at them and then get my cross. What, ghosts or what something. is over there? What? Some ghosts them. or something. Giant ghosts. Giant. Giant uh, ghosts? Yes. Let Giant me, ghosts. So, Carolus, roll me a. Flip your, flip your, your D2 my and D2. tell me if it comes up Kraken, Kraken or one. For those that don't know what this is, I've got one of these. If you win a set of dice, you get some of these. Uh, it's a one. Okay. Uh, that's fine. The uh, the the one that that you fired at seems to not really have paid attention, and it seems as though you did not grab the attention of the other one. I fear Fire the mountain is getting to Carolus. It, it's it's probably just a trick of the wind, Carolus. It's probably nothing. Let me. What? What do we? What did we see? Giant. What's going ghost. on up there? It's just uh, a giant ghost. I come back down. I, let me. Let me see if I can. If I can get a sense of anything. Let me. Uh, did, step did they see you, Carolus? Did they see you? No, of course not. I fired two Eldritch blast, and they still didn't see me. The dumb idiots. <laughs> uh, probably get uh, off the road. Yes. All right, I need to get just a little bit closer. Be careful, Bertram. Okay, uh, and then from there, I'm going to use my divine sense. Okay, tell me what that does, please. Uh, as an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of your next turn. You can sense anything affected by Hallow, or you know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. So if they are undead, uh, I will get a sense of them. And they are absolutely undead. Though I, I will say that you get a very strong ping off the one on the right. Yeah, and the one on the left is it, it, absolutely undead, but it it does not ping back as strongly. And you notice as well, uh, as as you heard me tell Carolus that he seems to not not be as as whole. He seems much more ethereal and and maybe maybe a little bit phased out okay. of, of of this reality at this point. Uh, the, damn, my hex uh, wouldn't have triggered by the way if it's not a real thing. So. Uh, okay, yeah, so then, yeah, I'm good with that. I mean, it is yeah. a real thing, but it, it's, it is something that is currently not possible to, to hit. Right, so, okay. if, if, if you think that it would not have triggered, then, then I'm, I I'm good with you. requires a target, so if, yeah. if it wasn't a target that would actually take to be in hexed, then it wouldn't have triggered, I'm assuming. Okay, I'm good with that. Unless so it I will actually just... passes on to the next one, it's up to you. Because I like you guys. What do you Anything else, Bertram? I'm just I'm sniffing the air and I'm saying the the, the, the one on the left is sorry. It's very faint. I uh, he's it's almost like he's not here. Uh, if we are, we either have to try to avoid them or if we're going to to go after them, we need to hit the one on the right first. Sneaking around is really not my strong suit. Oh. Oh, good lord, it's coming closer. It's it's moved. Oh dear. I'm getting off the getting off the road. Getting off the road. I don't want to be seen. Oh lord, let's get out of here. I mean, they've already seen this, have, have, have they not? Have they focused on us yet? I'm assuming if I haven't seen it, you hadn't seen me. So I'm, t I'm getting off the road. I'm gonna get off the road and I'll leave Clunk right there. <laughs> Stay there, Clunk. See what happens. And I'll get behind this rock if I can. <laughs> I'm gonna get just off the path, but still in view, and like not hide, but just if they'll walk past, I'll let them walk past. 
Okay. I will go and hide then. I'll go and hide up high. There must be some crevices or something I can hide in. I stepped off the road earlier and now I'm just trying to be really still so I don't make any noise. Yeah, same. Buddy, you're oh, muted. Clunk. I'm sorry. I, it's, it's everyone's talking to me here in real life and it's like, are you so, kidding me? So <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm on the internet, mom, with my friends. God. <laughs> it never ends. Yep. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. I I heard that uh, Bertram say that he's gonna see if they can if they'll just walk by. Mm -hmm. uh, Riala is hiding to quietly hiding. Yeah, basically just trying Riala, not to move. Did you cast fly like, again? Noisy armor. Um. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. If it, if it ends, I will do it again. Okay. I'm gonna jump into the snow. Yeah. So your your first your first one will have been done by now. So you can yeah, I will definitely you can fire a second one. I can find it. Um, all right. And what's Clunk doing? Just hanging out there in the he's middle? He's going to like just be waving like this and seeing if they pass him by. I need him to be animated if they... I want to see if they attack him. Um, okay. I got gotcha. you. So they... Uh, they just kind of shambling along in their... Uh, it, it seems kind of like they're on guard detail. But once they move to here, you see the one on the right obviously notice. Uh, you're not exactly who. Maybe Clunk, maybe Bertram. Not super sure who he noticed. But I would really like it a lot if everyone could roll for initiative. Oh, boy. Oh, bother. Mm -hmm. Big ghost giants. Are they floating or are they like walking? Son of a gun. My initiative. They rolls. are. They are floating. Okay. Awful. Oh, look at the whole. It's always. Why is it... Okay. <laughs> Big eight for initiative. We're all in the middle. We're all like 12, between 12 and 8. Look, I don't from... like to be high in initiative, so I rolled that 11 and I was like, nice. And now everybody else's rolls are coming up and I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that everybody? Everybody rolled in. Yep. Yeah, I had to fix mine. I remember to highlight my thing uh, this time. Alrighty. Yay! So, not good for you. The uh, uh oh, the cloud giant, the cloud giant ghost on the right, sees all of you and uses. A special ability he has, uh, he emits a dreadful howl that summons a cold, biting wind. The wind engulfs up to three characters of the ghost choice that it can see within 60 feet of it. Um, and so I'm going to say within 60 feet of it. This is a rock. This is a rock and I am behind it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right. So this Clunk and Bertram piece. and Riala. Just, I need just. you to make a const constitution saving throw, please. That should be okay. Oh, yeah. that's bad. Oh, it's no. Six. Thoroughly Seven. average. 17. That's 17 as well. Uh, and what did you get, Riala? Seven. A seven. Seven. I thought there might be more to it than just that, but I did. I wish I correctly. could say 17 uh, like everyone else, but. 70, no. 70. I don't know how, but that's not. Yeah. That's not All right, so. <laughs> uh, Riala will take. Uh, 15, 15 cold damage. Clunk and Bertram will each take seven cold damage. And you are all pulled 20 feet toward the ghost. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Which one? Uh, toward the one on the right who cast it. Okay. One, two, three. Four. And how much damage was that? Oh, shit. Seven damage. Seven for oh, you and for Clunk, and then Seven. 15 for Riala. That's fine. He just pulls me into melee range. That is... That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that is unfortunately true. Yes, but... <laughs> uh, Cesar. Uh, Cesar. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, that is. It is your uh, your initiative, sir. 
cool. Um, <laughs> I'm pulling out my shield first uh, to get my AC up to where it needs to be because this sounds like it's going to be a bad time. Um, oh boy, let's see what's going on here. Right, I'm going to go right up next to Riala. Um, and uh, I'm going to try a Guiding Bolt on, I guess, the, the red one. Do we have any battle music, DM? Okay. No battle music, only ominous cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's more unsettling. Is the... Uh... <laughs> Is the ominous cold not badly enough for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I really wish you could tie it to the initiative tracker. That would be amazing. That'd be super cool, actually. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. You roll initiative, and the battle music just like kicks when you on. bring the yeah. You bring the tracker up, and it kicks off. That would be amazing. Jeez, roll twenty uh, dev team. Where writing are you? an email to Let's roll twenty. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, twenty three right, for so that. So you're gonna guide it, guiding bolt. Yeah, twenty three to hit. 20, 23 hits. Cool, okay. I think we should look at Tower Spire. Especially as they're interested in sponsoring us as well. Oh, are they? Well, then, then oh, yeah? yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 damage. 18 point. And what kind of damage is that? Um, uh, Guiding Bolt damage, obviously. <laughs> uh, that's well, radiant, right? Yes. It's... Radiant damage. Uh, Tower Spire, is that the, like, the 3D, 3D modeled looking yes. one? Yeah. Okay. I've seen that. 18, 18 you said? Two. Yes, 18, uh, radiant damage. Minus 18, okay. Which everyone knows on Ghosts. Uh, yeah, yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you for sure pop him, pop him with that guiding bolt. Uh... What else? Uh... I think that, guy. that leaves the, the 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 residual on him that that folks get the advantage of the next turn. Is that guiding bolt? Yes. Just one person. The next person that attacks the, them. Mm -hmm. The next person that attacks. Right, right, right. All right. Anything else for you, sir? Nope. That's gonna be it. Mina. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> um. All right. So, question. Um. Yes. So I have. Hex as a part of, you know, my spells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. also maddening hex? Is that different? No, Madden Hex comes the next round. So you spend a bonus action to cast Hex, and then next uh -huh. round you can spend a bonus action to to basically do maddening hex, which is, which increases like your damage by your charisma okay. bonus. So it's it's only the bonus action is so, if I yeah. do. You only get one bonus action around. So you would use bonus action yeah. hex this round to hex them. Yeah, so once they're hexed, you can then use Madden in hex the next round. Ah. Yeah. Like next round, next hex, round. Hex, hex is a persistent thing. So once you hex him, he's hexed until he's dead. Yeah. Got it. And even then you can concentrate on that hex for 24 hours. Okay. <sighs> so many things. So many things. Yeah. All right. So I'm I'm gonna cast hex. Actually, no. Actually, right. what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do first, is that I'm gonna wait. How far does that go? You, Ninety feet. You oh, should, oh, I don't have you to. Move. You should. You should. You should always cast your hex first. That's what we we're trying to tell you last week. Yeah. Because you so, get bonus damage. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna like. I can see them. I think I don't have to move too much. I don't know, maybe pop out like a little bit. Yeah, and... it's, it's right there. Right there should be fine. Yeah, and cast hex. On um, which one? On the right one. Okay. Um. <laughs> does an eighteen hit? <laughs> you, so you don't have to. You don't have to hit for hex. Oh, bloody hell! See, okay. hex is hex. Now I just but, spent a but... good eighteen. Well, but you want to uh, you can use that for your Eldritch Blast. Attack him, right? Yeah, were you going to yes. Eldritch Blast him? Yes. Then next. you can use the 18 as your. Okay, then I'm going to use the 18 for the Eldritch Blast. You could crit fish because you've obviously hit. got advantage. I have advantage? Yeah, from yes. the Guiding Bolt. Because he was hit with the Guiding Bolt. Ah, 
Okay. In the previous, well, in the previous don't round. Don't worry. By the time you figure out how to play this warlock, we'll be back in the other campaign, and you'll, I, just, and you'll honestly, have to forget like, like this is like, <laughs> level ten. I'm like, so why? Much stuff. <laughs> okay. You're doing um, great. You're fine. <laughs> um, okay. So, obviously, casted hex. Now I'm going to do the lovely Eldritch Blast because meh, and and it's plus nine from what this says. Yeah, so you've hit with an 18. Hit with an 18 plus nine. Yeah, but yeah. So it's 27. Right. You, you, you have hit, but, but you have advantage, so you can roll a d20 again, okay. and maybe you'll get a 20 on it, which would be a critical hit. Oh, see, so now you're just gonna jinx me. I got a 19. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so you, well, so you, you, you have still hit him did. normally. So, <laughs> yeah, so please roll damage for Eldritch Blast. Uh, 1d10. And what kind, of, what kind of damage is Eldritch Blast? Is that force? Force. It's 1d10 plus 5 plus d6 because you're hex. Yes. Um, what kind of damage? It's force it's... damage. Okay, sorry. Um, where is my d10? So roll a d10 you? and a d6. Roll a d10 and a d6. Yeah. Just for good measure. Um, Add five to it. So a nine for the d10 and Ooh. a two for the d6. Cool. So, so, so that's 11, 11 plus five. And plus five, 16. 16 damage, yeah. <laughs> and you've got nah. another one, so fire again. Right. Okay. But this oh, wait, one doesn't have Eldridge. advantage. Yeah, you've got two two Eldritch Blasts. Okay, yes, that. Um, wait, sorry, do I have to roll the d20 for that? I'm so confused right yes, now. Yes, d20. <laughs> yes, you have to roll to hit again. <laughs> <laughs> what is life? I'm oh, so that was sorry for Madeline. She said you just started playing <laughs> with Fran in a deep end with a, with a 10th level character. Uh, that was only a three, so, mm, and... Eleven. Yeah, so that, that one goes wide. Yeah. <laughs> womp womp. Can I, can I sneak uh, back behind right, my, little, to... my little thing now? Can I just go? Can I just move back over here? Can I just move back over here? Can I just move back over here? Okay, bye! Yeah. Pl plenty of movement. Uh, is that your turn? Yes, that is my turn. Okay. <laughs> Riala. Okay, question. Uh, mechanical question. Mm -hmm. If I do something that is like, um, that's an action, but it's not a spell, like one of my like class features, can I still cast a bonus action leveled spell? Yes. Yeah, so long as it's not a spell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 because you're talking about just a class feature. Yeah, I would yes. say, I don't okay. know why not. So I'm going to, um, you guys look at Riala. You've probably by now seen her do this, but not often. And I'm just gonna close my eyes for a second and some wings just bamf out from behind me. Yes. I'm I gonna use my radiant soul. Um, so now I have my wings out. Nice. Incoming. Yeah, um, so that'll let me do 10 additional radiant damage um, when I attack. So then I'm going Very nice. to cast Spiritual Weapon, because that's a bonus action. So I'll bring out my Spiritual Weapon. You don't get the bonus radiant on the Spiritual Weapon, do you? It says any attack. Holy shnikes. Uh, alrighty. Once per turn, you can have one attack or spell deal 10 additional radiant damage. So I'll still that have to hit. Well, sense. as long as you don't have to, you wow. don't have to like, get on every attack. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's don't you have one, your level one 8 thing as well? Your level 8 thing for the cleric? Or is that what you're talking about? I don't know. That's it doesn't poem tell me. spell casting, I think, for you. Yeah. And it's um, it wouldn't apply to spiritual weapon because it's not a cantrip. I don't know. Anyway, spiritual weapon. I'm going to attack with that. <laughs> We've got <laughs> all of our all of our stuff together. We know exactly what yep. we're doing. We are professional. Okay. Oh, we are? 
That is 11 plus 8, 19 to hit. 19 hits. So that is 1d8 plus 4. That's a 7 plus 4 is 11 plus the 10 additional 21. And I believe Oof. the spiritual weapon is radiant as well. Let me make sure. Force. Force damage? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, Zoom is Yeah, edited. it's force damage. You're right. You're right. So just the 10 Oof. is radiant. The rest is force. Zoom is editing out my Oof. cat's head. Oof, and it's really... Yeah, I can just see his, <laughs> I can see his backside. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, goodness gracious. Uh, anything else for you? That is all. Alrighty. So now, this is the other ghost. And he seems to still just be walking his, uh, walking his beat. So the, this combat is happening back where they were. The, the the one on the right has stopped to engage all of you, and this one ethereally is just kind of floating past and doesn't really even seem to notice that any of you are there. Careless. Seems legit. All right, the one that is fighting the spiritual weapon, I will hex. Um, hex. All right. Uh, okay. Wherever it is, hex. There we go. I will fire two Eldritch Blasts. Uh, so I rolled double 14s. Plus 11, so it's 25 to hit. Yeah, so those are both going to hit. Yeah. I'm just getting my dice because, you know, prepared. So... <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, 14, 20, 22, plus 14. 36. Tw 22 plus... Oh. 36 oh off, over 2. Uh, and, it, and it moves 20 feet back. Uh, is there a... a um, nope. Limit to the size creature it can move? Nope. You ask that every week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there is not. <laughs> I hope... I hope that one week there'll be an errata that says, Oh, well, of course... You can't push a huge creature back. Unless there's with something it. in the actual but book that says not. it, but from what I'm I reading in my yeah. on D and D Beyond, it doesn't say anything about size. I mean, my guess is if there were no pictures of it, then Careless didn't care. Oh, I've touched um, it in thinking. <laughs> Yo, I'm not reading that. <laughs> the size of this no, it's thing. it's very uh, short on details on the description of the invocation. Yeah. Just says when you hit gotcha. a creature, you can push it ten feet. Yeah. So any uh, Elder any other Dragon? stuff sure. there, Careless? No, I'm just staying there. <laughs> I'm about forty feet up, hovering above me now. Okay. Nope, that'd be me. Done. Just dropping pebbles on her. Read us. Reedus peeks up from behind his rock and stares at these creepy ghost things. And this is pretty fascinating, these spiritual ghosts, uh, giants. Um, I'm actually going to cast, not a spell, I'm going to try and analyze what's going on and think, why is this ghost just walking on? So can I like roll an arcana or something to think, why is this ghost moving and what's it doing? Um, I would say roll of religion. Oh, but I'm still good at that, actually. It's an intelligence one. So that for me is a plus nine. I got a 14, so 23. So you know that some ghosts uh, can, can trade places between the material plane and the ethereal plane. And it okay. just, it, it, it seems as though the one that is just kind of walking past all of you unawares may be, be rooted in the ethereal at the moment, even though you can see him on the material. He Can he see us? Um, as far as my 23, if my 23 allows um, me to know that. With a 23, yeah, he probably can see you. Um, and it just is seemingly maybe is just unconcerned with you. Okay, interesting. All right, in that case, I will uh, have Clunk move 
his movement to here and end my turn. And I'll share that info with the party if I can. I'll shout to them. Um, that giant's in yeah. another plane. Yeah, you can for can sure shut. Up at any moment. Be careful where it lands. Yeah. Or emerges or whatever. And I'll hide again behind the rock. Uh, anything else for you, sir? <laughs> I'm going to put some... And the rock that you were behind is... The rock that you are behind there is large enough that you basically have full cover behind. As long as it's interceding between you and them, it, it is a large chunk of rock. So you have full cover where you are at the moment. Combat as a spectator sport is Redis' motto. So he'll just watch you <laughs> shout advice from the sidelines. <laughs> and that ends his turn. Any, uh, alrighty, Bertram. All right. Um, see so yeah. it. Ignore, ignore the ethereal one. Let's just, let's just run at this thing. Why is it doing that? What's your cat doing? Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to measure, and every time I go to measure, it drags my screen around. So let's not do that. Let's just assume that I am within range <laughs> to to get there. Are you on the right layer? Yeah. It's thirty it's thirty feet to get to yeah. him, yeah. I've got forty five feet of movement. To get I'm to right good. there, so you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Uh the guiding bolt has been used, correct? Like I don't get advantage yes. on this? Okay. So we'll just take a swing. Correct. Swing with the sword. Uh natural eighteen for twenty five. That hits. Uh six points of damage. Second attack. This. Ready? These attacks do count as magical if that makes a difference. Uh, okay, noted. Okay. And second attack is a 23 for That'll seven hit. more points of damage. All right, tell me, tell me how it looks. Oh, yeah, sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna run up on this thing with the uh, sword and just whack it a couple times and I'm like readying to like bring my leg up and roundhouse kick this thing and it just kind of <laughs> like miss away as my leg just goes like right through the space where it would have been amazing uh, yeah and, and so even at its death the, uh, the the one down here doesn't seem to have any kind of uh notice or care if he does notice he doesn't seem to care well that's cold, um man. that's your friend that died unbelievable Ghosts. well i mean it is it yeah. is it's pretty chilly here mm, you can tell that and then awesome. how much how much vision do you have bertram just 60 feet you got six 60 feet yeah okay is it does the snow make it so that it's considered dark like, is it that snowy or? Uh, I think I have As to in know, falling least. snow or snow on the ground? Falling snow. I'm just well, wondering. I, there, there's okay. there's not a lot of falling snow in here, but what I will tell you that the, the kind of the kind of milky light that w was where it was. So it's a little bit filtering in above. You can tell now that you're you're further north on this path and can see a little further. It is a little bit brighter. Uh, kind of up ahead in the, of you in the direction that you're heading. So there must be some sort of light source there. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll turn as this other one just keeps walking. I say, uh, I say we ignore it if it's willing to ignore us and we keep moving before it changes its mind. Makes sense. Agreed. Uh, how certain um, are we it's not going to double back on us and or, or yeah. alert someone that we're here. Uh, Not that fighting in the pathy pathway didn't already do that, but... I suppose there's nothing we can do for it if we can't even touch the thing. Um, let me, uh... Let me run up and take another look. Uh, and I am gonna move up another 30 to 40 feet here. Alright. I just put my tool away. 
Yep. Keep it open. I hope so. <laughs> Good night, Pixie. Just letting the people hey. know we are sponsored by Cracking Dice. Are... If you would like to win some dice yourself, exclamation mark giveaway. So you see um an, another one another of the of the cloud giants and uh he is standing against um a wall of some kind the okay. um it it seems as though maybe you're you're in a courtyard of of this structure whatever this structure is um you can see i, I think that you can see here it looks like a, a pair of doors there. Can you see that on the reveal part of your map? Yes, I just barely see the doors there. Yes. Yeah, so the those doors are about 25 feet tall. They seem to be some sort of wood that has been bleached white over time. Um, and the, uh, the, one, the one ghost is standing next to the stone edifice there. He hasn't seemed to notice you yet. Uh, from where you are, you can see that part of the first floor exists and that's all you can see at the moment but you can see that the the stone itself has just the faintest bit of of glowing light on it so it is it is even brighter here than it was when you were back at the other ghost so okay. it must be that this stone itself is giving off some of the light in this crevice is all this right. ghost target targetable by my hex can i pass it on to it You'd have to try it or make some sort of perception. I say, I want to start oh. waving and do like, I don't know, SWAT team gestures to let everybody know, like, we got one more over here this way, two o'clock. <laughs> okay. Another okay. So do you want to try to move your hex? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it. Oops. Get a scroll over. Uh, it absolutely seems to move over, and when that happens, he immediately notices Bertram. Oh dear! Can I get two? And uh, not before the initiative. Well, I'm trying to clear the old Oops. turn order out. Another one. There We're we go. Again. Another one. Nice, Rita's. Yay! Cool. Nineteen. Oh, thank you. Ooh, uh, better than last time. 16. Yep. Ooh, Careless and I are. Oh, wow, we are. Exactly the same. Precisely tied. Look at someone else's as well. Mina is. And oh, and yeah. Mina. Wow. <laughs> what? What? Are y'all uh, planning something I, I don't let, know about? Roll off. I mean, <laughs> I will either Everybody I will either let you off. all roll off or you can you Why can happen simultaneously. I'm, I'm fine with either. We can go simultaneous. That's fine. Well, <laughs> Simultaneous. Oh, anyway, I'll go this... last. That's fine. Well, however, it, however, it just uh, sorted it. Why don't we just go like that? All right. All right. Uh, all right, read us. I don't know that you are in range of anything, but uh, I'll go. Perilous is it yet again sparked off another combat yes. without telling anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what's that's happening. What, that's what Carolus <laughs> does. Um, I'll move thirty feet further. <laughs> Technically, I can only see sixty feet, so uh, I don't think I can see this guy. <laughs> well, that was why. Just, that was, that's why I was asking. Him. Why can we? Why yeah. can we only see sixty feet? It's not night time, is it? No. Is that right? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. Can I see this uh, giant this ghost? Yeah, from where you are. Yeah, as I okay. said, the 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 structure seems to be giving off a little light. bit of light. Okay, cool. Uh, in that case, I'm going to shoot him with my crossbow. Um, let me see, in the ghost head. So it's going to be plus nine. Uh, I got a 19 plus nine, 28. Yeah, that'll, okay. that'll hit. 10 plus five. So that will be a four plus five for nine damage. 
and then I will do it again because okay. I have two attacks. Um, that is a 15 this time, so 24. Um, That'll hit. Two, so seven damage. So a total of 16 damage between both hits. And then Clunk, who takes his initiative after me, is going to move his max speed to there to catch up. And that'll end my turn. As I load my crossbow twice, two bolts in rapid succession, and I guess fire them at what I think is the silhouette of the ghost, hoping they hit. It is a magical crossbow. Yeah, they 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 for sure hit. I mean, you you can see it as again the it, it is a little more light over here. It is not it is not not dark dungeon conditions here. Right, yeah, good. Mina. Oh, I thought there were other people that could go first. No, we picked you first. <laughs> Oh God! But remember, you move your with bonus action. Move your hex that you've already cast onto it first before you start blasting it. Okay, bonus if you're gonna action. Blast move it, my it's up to you. Hex. Uh, yeah, yeah. You could just bonus action, just like move that hex on over there to yep. Peachy Peach over here. And uh, what's gonna be funny is at some point she's gonna watch the other episodes of this and go, "Wow, they told me that like forty-one times." <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care at this point. I just don't care. <laughs> I, hey, I'm with you. You know what? As long as you're having fun, that's what matters to me. <laughs> yep. like, um. Okay, and now I'm gonna Eldridge blast. Which is the low ID 20, which is 12 plus 9, so that's 17. That hits. Okay, um, plus. Well, 12 plus, not, 12 plus 9 is 12 21. Did you say 12 plus 9? <laughs> um. Yeah, what? Why? Yeah, so that one hits. You, you want to you wanna roll You want to roll your other, your other yeah. attack? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was kind of thinking about doing Mind Sliver. Possibly. Fine, I'll cast out response. <laughs> um, Joyce <laughs> made a warlock. <laughs> 11 plus 9. Alright, so 12 plus 9. So we're at 20 for that one. So that should hit. Um, okay. So roll so damage on both of them, please. 1d10 plus 5. Plus a d6. Uh, 2 plus 5 is oh, just math one thing at a time, <laughs> sir. Thank Sorry. you. So. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Seven <laughs> plus six um, plus the other well seven six thirteen plus the other six is nineteen. Blah. Wait, is that twice or is that the right. added six is only once? Your what the D six? The added the six is only plus once. Five. Okay, so it's, it's nineteen for the damage. All right, Caprice. for one of the blasts. No, that's for uh, both. Yeah, or for both of them. That was for both. What the f so that was 2d10 I, plus I 10 rolled. plus 1d6? So that should have been 2d10, 2d6 plus 10. Yeah, 2d10. I no, got not like... not 2d6, just 1d6. No, he gets it each time. Yeah. She gets it both times? Oh! Both times. Yeah. Pardon me. 2d10, 2d6 plus 10. Oh, I didn't roll the 2d6. Uh, okay, so six, and then, and then three, so nine. So add another nine to that, so, so that's 20, okay. 20, 28. That's right? Good. Awesome. Yeah. So it's 19 before. Right, anything plus else nine, for you? Okay. That's, that's, that's all. I don't know. <laughs> awesome. I'm flailing. It's cool. Right, so I'm firing two Eldritch Blasts. Okay, let's do that first. Oh, I rolled a natural 20 and a 7. So the 7 is still an 18. Is, is an 18 a hit? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, well, it's uh, 19 damage before... And, and, and a good hit as well, I mean. <clears throat> it's 19 damage before I've even rolled anything. So if you want to take 19 off now, that's with Madden in Hex, 4 fire damage, and 10 Force for my bonus. Okay. So that's but yeah. So he he's not dead. Okay. So that's eight, um, seven, so 
23, 29 off. 29 plus a 19. God, I think I'm going to play a warlock Nine. this time. Was Eldritch I'm Blast, <laughs> Fritz. I never I fought a warlock. So, man. Do, I mean, you're just uh, an Eldritch Blast monk. That's what you're doing, but <clears throat> that's yeah. with a crit. But still, that was a I mean, brutal that, round. You can people make that claim about warlocks all the time, but like a fighter is like all a fighter does is swing a sword every time. Yeah, so, like, true. Yeah, true. But, true. Uh, done. anything that's else my, for you sir that's my bonus my, obviously a bonus action to madden in hex so that's me done yeah bertram all right uh running up on this one too swing away uh first hit is at a 19. that hits only five damage uh second hit is that a 21? That will also hit. Uh, that's nine damage. And bonus action. Uh, nay. Uh, why don't you tell me what it looks like? Oh, man. I think it's just like almost rinse and repeat like last time. It's just like, I'm like, <laughs> okay, so this combo is going to work this time. Like, pop, pop, and like bring it up. And it just whiffs away. I'm like, get. Damn it! Like, <laughs> <laughs> stymied from doing more damage. Interesting. Throw my rhythm off. Do these ghosts leave anything behind when they um, dissipate? They just kind of some ethereal residue. I want to gather it up. Nothing, nothing that you can. Yeah, yeah. So you could like gather some in a in a, a, a vial or something. Oh. Give me all that juicy ectoplasm. No, Redis, don't touch I'll that. I'll smell it and then I'll dip my little finger in it and I'll put it on my tongue, and I'll be like, Ah, oh, yes, cloud giants. <laughs> Not sure how he knows that, but um... yeah, I, I mean, it kind of tastes cloud gianty if uh, yes. if you're being honest. Mm, yes, and I'll um, bottle it all up for future experiments. Okay. On Carolus. All right, Ooh, Thomas excellent. Edison. Against it. Yeah. <laughs> Against his All right, yikes. who had who had Rita's eats ectoplasm in today's pool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark it off your bingo card. I didn't know it'd be ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rare delicacy. I'll have you Amazing. in the shadow of hell. <laughs> well, um, I'll go and get this guy's too. Stand aside, Bertram, quickly, and I'll gather up more ectoplasm. <laughs> No, All right. That's yeah. This uh, one, since it's a little bit fresher, is a little bit juicier. So uh, thrills you to no thrills you to no end. Uh, can I take a look at these walls? Is there anything like? Are there any guards on the walls or anything? Any eyes in arrow slits? Are there windows? Who knows? No. It it, it, it uh, again. It seems like this at one time was a much larger structure. The. Um, the wall ends after what you would imagine is the first floor. It's, you know, 25 ish feet up in the air, but it is, it's not like a smooth cut at the top. It's, okay. it's very kind of crumbly and broken as though something happened. All right. Mm. Taking a look around. I don't see anyone keeping an eye on us or anything. Say Roll a perception to the crumbling wall. Oof, it's a five. Can I... mm, no, you're you're kind of kind of wicked, quick, squicked out by the him gathering the goo. No, read it like so read like, oh, really yeah, nobody's <laughs> nobody watched that. <laughs> <It's so laughs> no gooey. one saw that, right? Please tell me no one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to look at Rita when he does <laughs> things. Um, you say that there's crumbled wall, crumbled walls. Um, do I have any indication of what might have caused that damage? Ooh. Uh, there's no indication from out here. I mean, the, it, it, it could have been any number of things. There, there, nothing nothing here to, to lead you in that direction. How long was Gazray... No, how long... What am I trying to figure out here? How long has Zikram been planning this elemental cannon thing? Cause this, this could be like an attack on this Sith castle by his floating... I'm, Am I making up that he has a floating castle? I'll ask the rest of the party. Am I correct? He has a floating castle, right? This sick room. I think he was working on one. I don't... Right. 
Well, Possibly. Why, why he's come here if he has his own floating keep? Perhaps he doesn't have one, yes. Maybe uh, maybe that's how he that this one broke. Maybe he took part of it and made it fly. I gave you five gold if you walk onto there and the whole place lifts up into the air. Oh, you think this is the floating keep? <laughs> right. Uh, does it look like this was built into this place or does it look like it may have landed? I'm not sure how I would figure that out. Like, I'd go to, like, maybe the roll wall. A, roll, a, roll a building check? Uh, <laughs> give me an investigation. Are there, like, some witch's slippers sticking I out from under the wall or something? <laughs> <laughs> I am an artificer, so... Nope, there's, I, there is a pair of striped socks. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, knew um, it. I had a feeling. Oh, man. I got a um, seven, so... Uh, well, what you know is, it, even though the the wind has died down and the snow isn't coming in here, it is still pretty chilly here. Okay. I've come to the conclusion that it's quite cold. And the here. light is pretty. And, and the, the light, light is pretty. It's gorgeous. Pretty. I'm Wait, getting we're... attracted to the light. Go look at the light. Flying <laughs> 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 oh. to the light. Thank you, Cesar. Um, I won't look at the golden doors anymore. I want to take a quick look around the edge on the western side. Okay. Take a run over this way. Which, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't see your token, and I was like, which side are you going on? Uh, just, so, yeah, so you look down the side. The no, so again, you look down the side over here, and the you don't see anything, but you you do see that the the same stone that seems to make up the keep uh, in the front is over here, and there is a little bit of soft light over here. You can cle cleanly see, kind of all the way to the back of the pocket back there. Okay, so the wall the wall continues around. There's no other entrances that we can see. Yes. Uh, correct. Right. Somebody knock on the door? And say knocking well worked last time. Readers, you're, you're, you're the science right. man. Uh, Maybe Clonk should knock. Yeah, tell me. Tell, I was going to say, tell me who is going to knock. When you say knock, and how you hard you're going to knock. Clonk's going to just go up to the door and he's going to just knock his head like boom, boom, boom. He like gave him two hands. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make him sound like a giant. Mm. The, um, the, while, while the wood is, is very aged, it still does seem very strong. Uh, it, you hear a, kind of a thunderous boom every time he slams his head into the wall. Uh, but you don't hear anything either from the other side or, or any kind of talking or anything. Uh, all seems to be silent at the moment. Hmm. Does anybody speak giant? No. No. Nope. Darn it. That's a silly language. <laughs> well, it seems we're at an impasse. Or do I go push it? Did I push it or? We tried seeing if it's open. Oh, my bad. I was muted. Sorry, I speak giant. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, guys, I speak giant. You're all like, oh, forget it. <laughs> Maybe you can ask them nicely, Bertram. Communication. That's what we're all about. Yeah. Should I? Should I all call right, out? I'm gonna ask them. What? 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 Sure. What do you? What do you? What exactly do you say to them in giant? Oh man. Um, I'm just gonna yell Land out. Shark. I'm just gonna yeah. yell out. Open the doors in giant. Okay, uh, you do that, and and everyone is amazed at how kind of boomy you can make your voice do it. And still, there is no no reply. No, you don't hear n noises or or anything at the door. It um. It just all seems quiet. Well, we uh, tried the polite way. Uh, is there, I mean, is there doorknobs? Is it? Yeah, have we checked to see if it's locked or yeah. anything? 
so there 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 is like a, a handle and, and a latch or maybe the remains of one but it is you know 10 12 feet uh, above you but if you give a kind of a push you saw when clunk was slamming his head against it one of the doors it does move a little uh you think that since it's a 25 foot tall doorway maybe it just takes a little bit of oomph to um to, to get right. it open. All right, well, we're, going, uh, we're going to get the train formation. I'm going to hold my shield up. All right, Bertram, you get behind me. We're going to run at this thing, you know, full force, and then we're going to... I mean, I was just going to have Clunk help me push it. You never let me be a bastard, Ram. I want to break <laughs> through one door. Do it, do it, Caesar, right. do it. Okay. Great plan. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Caesar. I didn't want me to steal you. You could take a run at Bar it. Bar <laughs> Barty and Clunk will be plan B. You, yeah. you are plan A. No, I do... do, do, do. The dream for the Batman Ram is me and the shield in the front, and I get Bert and I get and I get clunk behind me. We move like a giant train and hit it as hard as we can. Do it. Carla yes. stands back, folds his arms, and says, "This will be fun." <laughs> I, be I believe in you. In fact, here, have a little mm. guidance. So I dwarf do this once. Right. Okay. I'm gonna back. <laughs> I was waiting for the <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna slip Riala up. A little bag of five gold <laughs> and get behind Caesar. You know here. what? I was going to make you roll a skill check for this, but since you have brought it back into the other campaign with that reference, I'm going to say that you can do this with no skill check. You guys, yes. but you've talked about it so much and you, you have trained them how to do it, but they've never let you do it. And so now is your time to shine. Trained to do this? Is this why all the doors are broken in candle keep? <laughs> She's okay. running into them with your shit. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, so it's you're why make I'm a... so good at the mending spell. And here's the, here's here's <laughs> the worst reference I can make, right? Oh, the three of go. us, the three of us are like lined up. Feel the rhythm. <laughs> Feel the rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. It's... Feed me in chat. Says, it's Doram time. Melon. <laughs> Melon. <laughs> Speak giant and enter. <laughs> all right. So how's that work? <laughs> Uh, yeah. So is that is that what your what your plan is? You're gonna you're gonna just battering ram it and and give it a go? Yeah. 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 So you you guys do and and you take off and you're kind of fully synced and you're running and uh and, and you you hit the door and it gives a little bit and the thing that you had never thought of in this plan was Let's clunk behind us. How much force and crush, <laughs> and crushing weight clunk and Bertram have against you and so they just kind of mash your face into your shield, but. <laughs> But with the Gosh. three of you and the train and the hit, you actually open the door. Uh, at least wide enough for you all to 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 go inside. Uh, can you put yourselves in your order with your tokens, please? An idea that works. Uh, well, he's it's, going to last. That was absolutely worth it. <laughs> yeah. I give Bertram an approving nod and toss him his gold back. <laughs> we uh, candle keeps finest here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be over here. All right, you guys. Riala, are you leaving your you spiritual weapon around? out there? Okay, or is it gone? It's by now? gone. Okay. You stab your wings out? No, they only last a minute. Oops. Anyway, okay. if I stand here, this uh -huh. doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> the lightning bolt trap. And goes off. lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, no. So the uh, you, you walk in, and it, it is it is an interior. Kind of, kind of cool. Maybe, maybe something that was an entrance hall of some kind. Uh, you see two cloud giant ghosts wandering this hall. Um, the floor is is the same kind of wood that the door is, uh, and a a mixture of that and a green kind of tile. Um, there's a worn carpet that leads from the entrance to the staircases on the the north side. There, uh, there are two doors on the west that presumably lead to other rooms. And three giant-sized display cases along the east wall. You see, lots of um, giant ghosts around. Has anyone seen any giant skeletons? And I uh, look around. I really want to hex mm, it. Just to no, uh, to to this point, you've not. To this point, you've not seen any any skeletons. What I will say is that there's this kind of strange dotted line on the map 
Uh, that uh, is anything south of that line is open to the sky and everything north of that is seemingly kind of the remains of the floor above you um now that you're inside and looking up it it seems as though this this at one time had many many more floors you can see kind of at the back of the crevasse where it all lined up that kind of scars and marks where maybe it was five or six stories tall at, at one time uh, th this used to be a very large place. What secrets? Does um, but from here you can see. Place, I wonder. Uh, from here you can see kind of the edge of that remaining floor up there. Careless, are you still flying? Yes. And how high are you? Um, he's still outside. How of high him, is that? So guy? he's about forty foot up. <laughs> so you can see that the uh, there is a partial second floor and kind of in the the northwest corner I, it's on a separate map segment so i can't actually you know what that's not true i guess i can give it to you but it's only for only for you so don't show anybody uh it will be in the upper left um give it doing to the me. hmm Come on, Polygon Reveal. <laughs> Do it. Okay, Crack guys. and dice, everyone. Crack and dice. It... Yes, they're as... outstanding. As we walk in, I think we should... Uh, you can try... definitely see that there is a... Can't tell how much of that is. I think some of that is map shadow. You can see that there is, is a room up there. And what looks like probably the uh, the the top of the stairs, kind of on the right hand side there. So, Carolus, you can see that, but but the others cannot see this. Okay. Oh shoot! It's come through on the uh, <laughs> the Twitch screen. Yeah. 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 Don't look at everyone Twitch in Twitch vent land can see it. Warn everyone. <laughs> That's an stairs, irony. Yeah. Um, Are we guys, try this? not to touch anything. No, <laughs> uh, Redis, try not to touch anything. Yes, Reedus I mean, yes. Already, like, I, meant, yes, I, meant, I meant Redis, yes. <laughs> Fascinating architecture. Uh, but if these ghosts are content to ignore us, I don't want to provoke them by moving stuff around. So I won't hex them. I will try and keep my hands to myself. No, oh, yes, I can Let's try and, uh, yes, be respectful in here, Clunk. No grabbing of any giant weapons if you see them. So it's oddly specific. Did you, just, did you just give him a command again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes you find such meanings and intonations. Clunk. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you are absolutely not to execute slash command steal giant weapon slash hide on your person. <laughs> absolutely don't execute that. Giant technology. Uh, right. so you guys just gonna uh, speaking of the weapon. I could attempt to try to locate object and see if that will give us a direction. I haven't actually seen the weapon before, so it might not work well, but I could try. I have a diagram, and I'll um, give um, reality picture of uh, the cannon that I got from... Kind of the blueprints, the drawings of the cannon? From Ashgalif's cave, yeah. Cool, this is perfect. Okay, let me know. And so what, what are the specifics on locate object? They are. Um, let's see that? Did that give it to you? Ah. Describe your name an object that is familiar to you. Okay. Yeah. As long as you have seen it close within thirty feet, at least once. Uh. Alternatively. <laughs> <laughs> Can I build one out of snow? That, that's okay, one. that's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'll build a tiny. That, that's fair. Tiny. So we, you 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 could invoke the alternatively clause there and and probably gain something from it. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, you think that there is something very similar to the drawing in somewhere in this facility. Um, and because it says within a thousand feet, you seem to think it's within a thousand feet. And it's with Carolus telling you that there's a partial second floor and you're not seeing it anything above beyond that. It could be upstairs or the it, spell tells there's me the a, direction. a lower chamber. Oh, uh, in, hmm, shit. Uh, okay, so yeah, then then it <laughs> seems like for sure something below you is is very similar to that. I think it's it's below God us. Damn level tens. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> it's it's that it's in that way below us. We should go that way. So are those doors on our left? Yes, there is okay. a there are two doors. One kind of hereish, and one kind of hereish. And by say kinda, I mean exactly there and there. Also, just as a point of order, that spell lasts 10 minutes. So I can like keep tracking to make sure we're going the right way. I see. So a as you, gotcha. You'll you'll know if you're going further away or anything. Right, okay. right. Let's enter. I gotcha. hope that these are gracious hosts. I want to know their aggro ranges. And it's gonna gonna step in. How's that? We're good. <laughs> Let's go, Clunk, and certainly not go over to these giant display cabinets. That not read this. Can I see what's in them from where I am? <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. And sure. Uh, <laughs> I I will say that that you can. So the um, these are very large play cases. Uh, they're fifteen feet tall. They're made of kind of the same that bleached looking wood. Uh, and there are inside of them, there are artistically displayed scrolls, like written scrolls. Oh gosh. Oh, I really want the giant scrolls. If only just to see the look on the wizard's you face. Don't even know what, you don't even know what they say. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what they say. It doesn't matter. The wizards would want them so much. Read us, oh, we'll God. get them on the yes. way out. We'll yes. Think we'll about the magic here. cannon. Think about the magic cannon. Yes, the magic cannon we can loot without disturbing the giants. That's this, fine. Yes, and this spell that I have that I'm Bertram. tracking this cannon only lasts 10 minutes. So focus. Yes, yes, yes. Bertram, yes. roll a perception. Oh, Lord. Do you think the scrolls would have pictures on it? With, uh, with, it, <laughs> with advantage. No, Excellent. these are Thank safe you. pictures. <laughs> I won't admit to what the first roll was. <laughs> Uh, second roll is a 14 total. Yeah. So uh, looking at the two of these, and, and uh, since you're close to them and have been intimately close with the others, wow. these two seem to be much more like the one that continued walking on the, the guard path outside. They, they are, they seem to not fully be in this plane. Okay. They're very, very, very see-through and kind of ethereal. Uh, and don't seem to pay any of you any notice at this point. Okay. I'm trying to get to the north side of the room to see if I can see anything up there. So I'm going to try to carefully... Are these ghosts moving around? Or are they mostly... No, they... Uh, the they both seem to be kind of staring blankly at uh, or toward the cases. So I, I don't know that I would say they are looking at them, but maybe kind of looking beyond them. them. It's kind of a thousand. Yeah, it's kind of a thousand yard stare situation. It, it may not be that they're actually looking at anything, but okay. that's the way they're facing. They're facing the display cases. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm going to try um, to carefully walk between them without getting too close. <laughs> Don't mm -hmm. aggro. Could you yep. uh, quickly take both of those tokens into Photoshop and... Flip them? Yeah. Flip them. Yep. <laughs> to represent them. <laughs> I, I can as soon as you guys win this game. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, so, far, so far they've not aggroed you. Okay, I'm just trying to get a look at what's to the north over here. 
Yeah. So you, you and you again, it is um, kind of that soft, pale light inside here. I've got the tool. I got the tool out. Uh, these are absolutely stairs. The ones on the right, on the so on the the east side, look as though they go down. The ones on the left look as though they go up. And, and these okay. stairs are sized for cloud giants, so it, it is. The the steps Big are stairs. tall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, mechanically, I will tell you that it is it, moving on them is considered difficult terrain. Excellent. Uh, I'll like stage whisper back and say stairs stairs to the north <laughs> told you that was stairs as to the goal um, roll, roll me roll me another perception Bertram please uh, with advantage again maybe no no just a regular alright oh, hey better 17 so a, a, as you turn back around toward the cases to go stage whisper to your friends uh it seems as though that that you can read at, at least pick, you can pick out some words from where you are that are on the scrolls well uh, what do i what do i notice uh from where you are at 30 feet you just kind of notice like oh i i know what those kind of four words are um and it's not like you know power word kill or anything like that. They, it's just <laughs> until right. unless you investigate further, you won't know any more about it. But you can tell that that you can read at least a little bit of it. Okay. Well, do it. All right, Leah. Yeah, let's let's head can over. He, can he entice them? <laughs> Stepping the around around the ghost, not touching anything. Just want to get closer and see if I can if I can look. The scrolls. You, so you absolutely can. the The scrolls are written in giant, which mm -hmm. you read. Uh, and I, we're gonna say that that you end up looking at all three of them. I'm okay. going to put. Is something there one in on each your... shelf? So the yeah, it's, it's three trophy cases, and each trophy case has four scrolls in it. Okay. Um, players' journals. I'm adding it to your journal. Um, and then we'll kind of translate it for everyone. Then we'll allow them to to kind of peruse it a little as well. This is the three different paragraphs of three scrolls. Uh, sure. It's not that. Okay. That's what's in the module about what the scrolls say. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Break it up. How you? But, there, but each case has four scrolls in it. Were you going to say something, Carolus? Uh, uh, I was just going to suggest that readers should check out the shelves. Oh, thank you, Carolus. This is a brilliant idea. And I'll go over to the shelves. Oh, oh good lord! <laughs> ten, ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes and I will not know where the, the cannon is any longer. No, Can I... Downstairs. This downstairs. Can I... Can... Do you, Redis, do you speak giant or dwarvish? Um, I dabble. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little more than that. Um, I speak dwarvish, I do actually. Yeah, dwarvish name is Inferno. How about that? Yeah. Uh, I dabble. I dabble. I will. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, that answer checks out for Redis, honestly. Yeah. I, he says Dwarvish on his character sheet. I don't know if that's his, his CV to Candlekeep, which he lied in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Dwarvish, yes. Uh, 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 all right, that should be in your journal as well, Redis. All right. It should be in, uh, in Bertram and... Uh, it uh, it yes. sounds like these giants were once allied with the dukes of the uh, the elemental plane of air. Um... Hmm. And say it sounds like they were a, a force for for good in this region for for a while, but they were. You guys sounds have been like attacking them. The allies on the uh, on the wind plane were were overthrown, and whoever whoever depo deposed them took out these giants in retaliation. 
Oh, wow. Mm. Well. Um, Read us with an eye more towards the specifics of them. Uh, each of these scrolls is about three feet wide and six feet long. I mean, so they are kind of enormous, but they are, they are beautifully lettered. And this probably is a pretty unique set of of things. Cloud giant calligraphy. Well, Candle Keep will be impressed. I say, this is the kind of stuff that the wizards in Candle Keep go crazy over. Lost history of some cloud giants. They'll love it. Yes. And here we are after firewood. What a fortuitous circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> Um, while they're looking at those, is it possible right. for any of us to, like, mini the butcher our way over to those steps? Sure. If Caesar's doing that, I'm joining. Yeah, I mean, and, and, same. And, and I will, and I will say that that you can mini the butcher it, but so far, they have not at all noticed you. Just like the one outside, they're content to let you pass. Cool. Now, they're lulling us into a false uh, everybody. Of security. <laughs> Everybody roll a perception check, please. I could do perception. Roll an, roll an insight check, I'm sorry. Everyone roll an insight. An no. insight Fuck check. Okay. Not any better. Eight. Two. Natural one. Fourteen. Seventeen. Uh, Clunk will get a... I'm just going to give him a roll. And yeah, nineteen. Four. <laughs> I got a four. So, Mina and Riala... You feel like maybe if these two, even though they seem like they're staring through them, if these were sacred texts, that while they have shown no aggression, simply cracking these cases open in front of them might not be the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just a feeling that you get. Oh, these scrolls are on display within the case, but they're unfurled and we can read them. So we've not actually yes. picked them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, it's... Right, okay. Correct. Yeah, it, it, it's almost like a like a glass, like a, almost like a trophy case kind of Understood, thing. They're yeah. they're artistically displayed in there. I see. Like a little That's... museum, almost. Is that the entirety of what is on display? Okay. Yeah. I mean, they right. write real big. Well, <laughs> again, I think I think on the way out might be the best option. Yes, I agree. Yes. Let us save ourselves for Zikram. His <laughs> <laughs> it, it, what can I say? I'm enamored with Zikrin. <laughs> saving, saving I'm saving myself, myself for, for you, Zikrin. <laughs> yeah. Too late. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so you believe he's downstairs? The weapon is. I don't suppose he'd part himself from it for too long. So let's investigate. We have to use a climbing kit to get down you each get stair. Revealed. Step. <laughs> no, you just have to go kind of carefully. If if someone thinks that they're just going to kind of run down them, it's going to be a a bit of a scene. But uh, it seems like okay. the stairs go down and make a a turn to the left. Is my fly ended by now? Probably. It's close. Let's say you're not out yet, but you've only got, say, a, a minute or so left. Maybe as much as two minutes. Is there, are you are you feeling all right? You, you're I like that you're rock. just like floating along and you're like, yeah, screw you guys. Yep. I'd, I'm sorry. What no, was that, yep. Riala? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Floor is lava. Uh, and I'm I'm still standing. You know, you know, like in Mad Max when he's like looking out the truck, he does like that, like tired thumbs up. <laughs> that's what that's what Caesar mm -hmm. does. <laughs> Caesar, do you want wrong? No, no, nothing wrong. I'm just trying to keep whatever strength you have left for the fight coming up. Yes, why? I, I can, I can help you with that. You don't have to like walk around half feeling awful here. And I'm gonna just pat Caesar on the shoulder and just give him a little cure wounds, just a level one, just a little, little something. Are you down hit points? I'm at half. Yeah, a little above half. Please. Oh. It's rough. Did you not roll hit dice during the short rest? I did, and I rolled half my hit dice during the short rest. <laughs> oh, yowza. All right. Let me uh, let me give you a little bit of lay on hands. 
action also. You'll get um, 13. Now, they said they me. were saving themselves. I'll give you, um, I'll say to Caesar, I've got these small healing potions that you need to drink immediately when I make them. So here, try this one. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually ectoplasm. Drink, drink this, I <laughs> drink this, I promise. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't, it's actually the cloud cloud ghost ectoplasm that I gave him. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> and then Redis will step back and just sort of look at look at <laughs> That is so <laughs> Oh that's hilarious because that's like something the professor would have done. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Would, anything would have done. <laughs> Um, Rodney, roll me a d100, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How does it taste, Caesar? It's a lovely healing potion, yes? Don't taste like an ass open in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> 27. Uh, you can confirm that with a 27, it tastes like an ass whooping in just a few minutes when you find out what exactly he gave you. <laughs> Uh, but there are no other, uh, no other ill effects. Right. All right. I will keep close eye on Caesar for the next hour <laughs> to see. I'm going to give him we... five more hit points with, uh, lay on hands. <laughs> just right, just to offset that. <laughs> yeah. That's going to, that's going to put me at 60 and I'm pushing, I'm pushing Redis down the first, like the first step that I can. <laughs> I'd like to think that in the past I've Ooh, given Caesar oh. plenty of different things. <laughs> <laughs> the time I gave him like fire essence and I had him drink alchemist fire to see how it affected the human body. <laughs> it's just Caesar is for some reason's go to guinea pig. Yeah. Well, being out on the sea, you drink what you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Er, don't don't panic. I'm gonna close that. Ah. And I'm gonna re. I'm going to reopen that area on the lower right hand side. Got ya. In just a moment here. Zoom all the way out. Um, <clears throat> While you're doing that, did anyone know that we are sponsored by Crack and Dice? If you would like to win a set of your own, people show you dice. Huh? Beautiful we, dice. These dice aren't even on the shelves dice. yet. You show can win dice. some of these. Uh, excavation mark giveaway. And if no, you they're on my table. Buy, some of your own Kraken Dice, exclamation mark Kraken Dice, will bring up their link for their website. I believe they have a sale going on right now. I believe so. But you might have to check. Um, um, fantastic company, guys. I would highly recommend them. Really, really nice people. So, and allow us awesome. to lots of dice. So if you guys can arrange yourself, arrange yourselves how you were. Uh, I, I pulled you guys on, but I... In, in 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 looking at the D one hundred ass whooping list, uh, I didn't get you all in the correct order. So if you could just arrange yourselves as to your, how you are, and this is on the not the lowest of the right, but kind of a little bit up from the bottom right. Yeah, I'm good where I am here. I think I'm good where I am too, actually. Wait, am I? <laughs> how tall are these stairs? Missing uh, Riala though. Yeah, I'm not here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we will drag her on. Oh, ah, I put her on the wrong layer. That's my fault. Where did she go? Layer. He sent the... her to the ethereal plane. <laughs> <laughs> on the D and D Beyond uh, extension, Redis is dead. <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, you ruined the spoiler the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, yeah, maybe I'm missing the... Ah, here we go, yeah. Are you, what's, what's are you your hit points, points in DDB up to date? Um, I'm not very good at DDB. Don't get me wrong, it's so. extremely buggy software He's been sometimes. Bruce Willis all along. Yeah, the... Uh, <laughs> the over... <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. I'm like a Scooby-Doo um, projection that's been projected from Clunk. <laughs> I'm actually safe and candle keep at the moment. Is your hit points on zero or are you on four? Oh, Harry. I can't see where they are on the top sheet right here. sheet. On top right, D and DB. I take it you've been using the sheet, have you? Or did you yeah, only to like roll initiative and to um, yeah. do my sort of moves and stuff. Armor class, right? Arm above armor class is speed. Yep. To top, the right is inspiration. And then to right, and right of that. 
It should be your current I've, max. Ah, okay, yeah, got it. So, um, if, you cl if it says HP, death saves yeah. or anything, then obviously you need to heal yourself. <laughs> heal myself. He's been dead all along. <laughs> 53 HP I take immediately, uh, which I didn't do. There we go. Yeah, you need to update that. So we'll say uh, that each step to come up with you, with your uh, your question says are the the steps are uh, they're they're about eight or ten feet down. So if you if you kind of just slide to the edge and then hop down, you could do it. That's why it's difficult to rain, mm -hmm. um, but not so much that you're gonna you're gonna really injure yourself unless you push your friend all the way down. Um, oh. <laughs> but, but, uh, goodness, before he does, before he does that, what I will say is, um, goodness gracious, this is running slow for me. Uh, at the bottom of what you can see on the stairs, the token just disappeared. What? Huh. That's really. Don't have to fight it, guys. Hey, thanks for roll twenty. <laughs> I guess so. Is that Zikrin? Uh, oh, here I'll move. <laughs> it, it was not Zikrin. And that's how you it. win D and D. Just hack the mainframe. <laughs> Clear token. Oh, I know what's happened. Uh, to back. Look. There we go. I, I had moved a piece of map over for the stairs. Uh, so, coming around that turn on the stairs, as you guys are kind of talking at the top and throwing Redis down a stair or two, uh, <laughs> there are two nasties uh, that two seem boys. to be very watery. Two flowy boys uh, is something that we don't ever call them. <laughs> Two moist boys. Um, <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let me add that moist boys. boys. <laughs> <laughs> and what we are going to do is take a 10 minute break. Yeah. And we will roll for initiative when we take get back. Time. Actually, we will give away some crack and dice when we get back. Yes. And then we were all for initiative, and, and you guys will fight the hashtag Moist Boys. Yes. <laughs> moist Boys never say die. I've been saving myself for the Moist Boys. Oh, no, oh, no, Nathan. Oh, moist oh. Moist Boys never say dry. Oh. Oh. They're always ready. Alrighty then. So, as we left before the break, the uh, the party had just started descend descending the stairs into the next lower level, and two watery monsters of some description uh, popped out around the corner facing them. And now, we are in initiative. <laughs> that Boy. is comical. Uh, yeah. Ten. Boo, I, I rolled a five. Oh no. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> Mine's not better. I got a seven. Uh, well, it is better numerically. Just a little bit. I meant to say not much better and it didn't, <laughs> the sentence didn't fully form. It's okay. <laughs> but yes, you're right. It is uh, <laughs> mathematically, really? yes, it is better. <laughs> Uh, all right. Looks like the top of the order is Cesar. Oh no. Okay. Um, I him in the face. And I, I have put I have put color color code dots on them, so we have red and we have blue. Cool, cool. Um, I am going to cast Shatter. Wait, hold on. How far are they? From me. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cast Shatter. Wait. I um, like three range <laughs> range finders all going at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there. Um, and can they make a constitution saving throw, please? Uh, they can, unfortunately, for me. Um, you can do it, DM. Oh, uh, uh, the second level default or the you know, the base level shatter. 
All right, so the as far as uh, constitution saving throws, the red one has made an 11, and the blue one has made a 19. Well, okay. Um, red one 11, blue one 19? Yes. All right, so... My um, guess is the red one saves? No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The blue one, the, blue one, the red yeah, one fails, yeah. the blue one saves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just getting amped here. Uh, it's going to be 12 points of damage. Uh, 12, 12 and then 6 for blue. Yes, yes, half to, half to 6 for blue. All right. Uh, okay. What else, sir? Um, I'm pulling my shield out again uh i'm standing up here and um, right, anything else i think that's it i think all my bonus action stuff is like magic based so i can't do nothing else okay riala i'm going to toll the dead on blue that's a wisdom save now these are not the wisest of water creatures <laughs> Uh, he, in fact, made a six. That's not going to do it. <laughs> so, and he did take damage just now from that shatter, right? They both did? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So, that's going to be 12 damage. You see the water kind of shake around as though it were in the bell when the bell went off. It's kind of like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Uh, anyth <laughs> anything else, Riala? Nope, that's it. I'm going to stay right where I am. All right, it is now Red's turn. And Red is going to come... right up in here amongst and is going to throw down an attack at Cesar. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that was that 35 feet? It's difficult. Did to I write. just over move? Not for him. He's large. OK. All right. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he moved from that. So it's, it is 30 feet. OK, so then he is going to make a uh, a multi-attack at Cesar. Oh, good lord. Okay. Uh, that's a 12. Nope. And that is an 18. Nope. Woof. Cesar's been fighting oh, water all his life. <laughs> Gotta fight off those moist boys. Watery hands. <laughs> these two watery hands just, just do two haymakers and you skillfully being a a cleric of Calypso skillfully just dodge out of their way. And that is his turn. Carolus. Uh, Carolus will hex the one fighting Caesar and fire two Eldritch Blasts. <laughs> Eldritch Blasts. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> and I roll a 12 and a 4. The 4 totals a 15. Uh, 15, 15 will hit. Yeah. <laughs> Choice of having plus 11 to hit. <laughs> right, so, uh, <laughs> what, what are they like with fire damage? Are they immune to fire damage? Uh, do you know anything about these creatures? I know they're made of water. <laughs> I might have read books on them. My, sorry, I, I might see pictures. pictures. I would say, I, I would say that that a water creature is probably more likely immune or resistant to cold attacks than to hot attacks. Because obviously, there's four damage as fire. So if that's anything, if it's just normal damage, or if it's doubled, or if it's halved, I don't know. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I will deal with that on my end. So what, what's this total damage? I will tell you. Okay. <laughs> that is 10. I'll stop pumping the DM for information and just 22, tell you the battle. Yeah. <laughs> 22, 32, 
Um, 32 damage plus 4 fire. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the when the fire hits him, the, the, there's definitely kind of a little gout of steam that that pops off right where right where you hit him with the fire. And it gets moved back 20 feet. Yes. Uh, fall down those uh, stairs. Flow down those stairs. Yeah, he kind of flows down. Uh, it's not pretty. It's not graceful. It's it's very like whop, 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 whop. He's my brother. So yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else for you, sir? <laughs> uh, that's like me slinky. done. <laughs> I'm obviously I'm, I'm just slinky. floating forty feet. Read right us. Um, read, read us. Uh, so there's not there's not enough enough height to be forty feet high where you are. Okay. This is it, it's, so it's going down onto the stairs. It was only a twenty five foot kind I'm of entryway down. Be. Yeah. I'm so you're the maximum you. Can, okay. Readus memorizes okay. the physiology of that thing going down the stairs and will invent the slinky later when he gets back to that. <laughs> <laughs> think about that how Noted. interesting that is. Um, <laughs> and presented like a magical item to all the wizards. Um, I will get out my mechanical crossbow, slap down one of the cartridges that had two bolts in and let them bolt off at that guy. That guy. Um, which is... That guy, it read, okay. 20 plus... Um, Seven for me. A ten. Oof. And a twenty-six. <laughs> the twenty-six okay. absolutely hits. Yeah. So it's that's D ten plus five. Um oh wait, there we go. Uh seven damage. Wow. I am blowing these guys up. Surely he's dead from my seven damage. And so what what kind of what kind of Surely. damage is this? Uh it's bludgeoning, but it's magical. Magical? Yeah. Okay. You shooting a crossbow Copy that. again? Anything else? Or what are you hitting them with? Um, what am I hitting them with? Yeah. Uh, crossbow belts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but like, they're, like the crossbow is magical, so that still counts, right? Or does it have to be magic ammo? Yes, absolutely. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. no, no, no. It absolutely trans transfers. Yeah, so when you, when you, the one arrow just zings past him and hits the wall, the second one hits and like a, a plug of water kind of comes out behind him and then where the hole was it it fills back in but you definitely r reduced him with the uh, kind of what you expected to that was at least one cup of water uh, less and then clump will go five <laughs> 15 25 and that's all he can do he's just stumbling down he, he literally falls down steps and stands up and then falls he down becomes the, the slinky <laughs> yeah. 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 The rudimentary slinky. No, clunk. Operate, like, execute operation slinky, and he just starts falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Bertram. Um, well, clunk took my spot, so <laughs> he'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm gonna post up next to. Says are there. Okay. Nah. Whatever. Any, any screw it. That you want to nah. Use, screw or? it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna run down. How far is that? This is difficult terrain. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm plenty good though. Um. Okay. Let's uh, see if I can smack water with my. Stick. <laughs> yep. Uh, and your your stick attacks are considered magical because it's your monk weapon. Yes. Do it, Bertram. Put your stick in that moist boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. His Come magical stick. You forgot his magical <laughs> stick. Yeah. Six, it's magical. Sixteen. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah. We Sixteen, 16 hits. I'm so <laughs> sorry that I'm not in chat. <laughs> uh, eight damage. Second attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, natural 19 for a 26 total. Uh, Absolutely. Four damage on that one. Uh, and why not? It's uh, it's early. We can flurry of blows this thing. Let's flurry of blows. Let's do it. Ba -bow. All right. A couple more hits coming in. Uh, that is a 15. 15 hits. 
That's five damage and a 19 for, gosh darn it, four more damage. I rolled like three ones on this damage. Yeah, you uh, you just go to go to work with your sword and with 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 punches and just water is just coming off of him left and left and right. He he is definitely shrinking in size as he loses water. Uh, the stairs just becoming slick with what was once part of him. Something in Discord for Harris. Uh, anything else, sir? Uh, no, that is all. Mina. All right, so I'm gonna. Do the old tried and true. Uh, I'm gonna cast hex. Um, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay. So right, right now, red has both of your hexes. I think. Wait, what? Oh. As, I, I've got one. Red, 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 red has both hexes on it. I think. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure because I'm having trouble getting the, the clicker to work. Can you do that? Yes, because one's mine. Okay. One's yes. yours. You don't need to cast it again. You just need to move it because you've already cast it. Uh, oh. So you've only Got used it. one slot. Perfect. Um, cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move that hex right on over. And then lovely, you know, the thing with the Eldritch Blast. I'm going to do that thing. Um, that all right. So fif- 15 <laughs> to hit the first time. 15 and hits. Then, and then um, 20 to hit the second. Those both hit. Cool, 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 cool. Math, one second. So, <laughs> D10. I'm gonna have this eventually, one of these days. It's gonna, it's gonna be glorious. All right, so. I believe in you. One D10, okay, so seven and five is 12. And then, and then seven. Um, 12, 7, 19. Cool. D6s. Oh, God, it's horrible. Um, what was that? 19? You were, you were 19? Yeah, 19. 20, 19 plus 20, the sixes. 23. So that's 23 plus 2D6s. Plus 10, right? Is that how that works? Yeah, 10 on top. Yeah, so 23. So 33. And do I add agonizing blast onto that from here? That so the plus five damage the extra is agonizing blast. Oh, got it. So All right, you, cool. I, so I think you've already added just, it, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So just just thirty-three. This thing is is a a shade of its former self. It's the slenderest water creature you have ever seen. Uh, but it is still up. Uh anything else? No, I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. Don't need fighters when you got warlocks. Oh. <laughs> I've done seven damage all session. <laughs> so I'm just I've here done for the ride. Seven hundred. <laughs> Didn't you say that combat is a spectator sport? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'll just do the uh, investigating and the taking of the magic stuff. Troublemaking. That too. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. All right. This. This one is going to move up uh, a little bit and is going to try to absorb some of the water off the ground from his friend and make himself a little stronger. Oh, cool. Uh, but he cannot pass because his friend is in the Cannibalizing middle. Cannibalizing his friend? Kinda. I mean, he's got like a straw. He's sucking his friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, what do we walk in on? Maybe we should, you oh, know. Maybe we should leave this more spoiled. <laughs> 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 or maybe you shouldn't. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay. Cesar. Yep. Um. I'm gonna try and hit. I'm gonna hit red with the uh, sacred flame. Okay. Um. So I need it to make a uh, deck save. Uh, so it's gonna be a sixteen. How about a 19? That that does it. Um, so I'm going to hit it with the, sac- with the Sacred Flame for five points of damage. Um, and then... And uh, then all right. Wait, so tell me, tell, me, tell me what that looks like. Oh, that does it? <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, yeah, just like, like as it shrinks, it's like small, smaller, smaller. I like just like fling it, like you're trying to like, like you try to get a coin to like split, um, like a drop of water. <laughs> so just like fling it off my wrist and boom, right through the head area of what that would be. All right, good. yeah, and you do that, and the the, uh, the 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 little bit of water that kind of still composes this thing just evaporates in a bit of steam, uh, and his friend looks over, not expecting that to have gone that poorly. <laughs> uh, anything else for you, sir? Yeah, I'll go five, ten. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay right here next to Bertram. Riala. Told the dead worked out well for me last time, so I'm just gonna do that again. Yeah. Uh, he made a 10 on his wisdom save. That's not gonna cut it, moist boy. <laughs> oh, I rolled real good on my d12s here. I rolled an 11 and an eight, so 19 damage. <clears throat> Oof. The uh, the little bit of moisture that he had cannibalized and picked up from his friend is just jarred back out of his mouth as the the to the the tolling bell goes off around him, and so all of that was for naught. Uh, anything else? Um, no. Well, actually, I'm gonna move forward. A Perilous. Little bit, a little ways. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, I moved the hex over. It's, it's moving the hex. Okay. Also, it is a bonus action, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. So no I believe so. Yes. The hex for you. Um, I fire two Eldritch blasts with. Oh my god! I rolled a natural one and a three, uh, but the three <laughs> is still a fourteen. Uh, fourteen is a contest. <laughs> okay. So roll well, a d twenty. I, I rolled a one and a three, so you never know. It's got to get better, right? I rolled a seventeen. <laughs> I rolled a six. So I hit once. <laughs> God. You hit once, yes. Uh, so that's only six. It's 11 plus four fire. It's 11 damage plus four fire. That was crap damage. Awesome. Yeah, so again, where, the, where, where it hits and a little bit of fire, you can see a gout of steam released from that. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's me done. I'm quite happy floating there. Read us. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I guess, move, I think, to here. Um, and shoot over Riala's head, and not into Riala's head, some crossbow bolts. Um, there goes my d20, so... Okay. <laughs> right, uh, so it's two attacks, again, slapping another... I wheel out another cartridge from my belt, put it into the crossbow, each containing two bolts, a natural 20. So that's my first one. And the second one is okay. a, ten, a 10 plus um, six, so 16. So, so both of those hit. And so remember on the, the crits, do a, a max max damage and then roll the regular damage as the overage. Okay. So that's 13 for the first hit and 10 for the second hit. So 23 plus 10 from the crit is 33 points of damage. Blowing this thing away uh, with magic crossbow. Those, the, uh, the the crit bolt goes in almost at a at a at a side swipe angle, and just cuts a huge swath out of him, uh, more more than you would have imagined it would cut out of him. And he's looking very peaked at the moment. Um, any, you can tell he's rethinking his life choices. Uh, anything else? Um, I'll send clunk. Uh, uh, 10, 20, 30, and get him in Bertram's way again. There we go. <laughs> <I don't> mean... <laughs> get, go, Clunk! <laughs> and I'll um, send him forward, <laughs> thinking I'm helping. Slash, yeah, my slash command, protect Bertram. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Bertram. Clunk's there for you. <laughs> and I'll end my oh, turn. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Just falling down the stairs. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
is is he making the the one that is down is he affecting the like I'm not gonna slip and fall down the stairs if I walk past there am I <laughs> no unless you try to do something crazy like oh I'm gonna jump over clunk and do this I, I would say that you you are sure enough footed that you can manage down the tall stairs and, okay. and get in the water and be okay no. Bertram's Don't not about that. He's all he's all business. Alright. Taking a taking a couple swings. Uh 18 for Hit. 10 damage. And a 21. Hit. For 8 damage. And we'll just go with the uh just the one on armor strike this time. Oh, natural 19. Uh, seven on that one. It's just the the wispiest kind of. Pop, pop, pop. The other you thought the other was a shell of a water creature. This is the the wispiest, the smaller shell of a water creature. And you're like, oh, they do get smaller. Look at that. <laughs> uh, barely, barely hanging on. Uh, Mina. Okay. So, we're gonna move that lovely hex on over, because, you know, that's mm -hmm. what you do. And, <laughs> all right, um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, 21 and a Hit. 23. So that's a minimum cool. of 40 Both of those are hits. The, um... Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right so so then, if it's a minimum, if it's a minimum of fourteen damage, tell me what it looks like. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, it's like, it's like thirty. Um, okay, so, um, you know, the the blast is coming at him, and he just kind of like, just like, the it hits, and then it does like a slow motion, just like. <clears throat> And then comes back together again, and then just d goes into a puddle on the floor. Ooh. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so that uh, that 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 is them dealt with. What uh, what would you like to do now? Scoop up the water and put it in a vial. Oh, oh God! No. <laughs> get the vial out of his hand. Immediately get the vial out of his hand. It's like dirty water too. It's like stair water. Yeah, I want to try and find a little bit of the, the drop that's still sentient and get that. <laughs> There's a you, little you, drop. You know, Redis, right, why don't you try? Do, why don't you just lick it off the floor, huh? Just, just go down and just lick the water up. Tempted to find the drop that's sentient and put it in my mouth, and then see what happens. The, you, 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 you have no way of knowing which. In your mouth. <laughs> hmm. Yes. You have no way of knowing, unfortunately, which one is sentient. <laughs> so you'd have to suck all the water up. Well, you told Do me it. not to diverge from the quest too hard, but uh, <laughs> how long would that take exactly? <laughs> I just push him. I'm like, go, get, just get down, get down, get down the stairs. Uh, while that's happening, I'm is going how they down were... to the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Seeing as how they were two large creatures, I don't know that you could hold all of that water in one sitting. Okay. Is that a con check or...? <laughs> like you, can't the you can't fit two moist boys in your mouth. I, that's true. As bad as I try. Wow. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, it was there. It was there. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stop. Never again. My bad. Yes, enough of this potty humor. I'm not sucking on any moist boys today. Let's continue our quest. Only because the DM won't <laughs> let you. <laughs> yeah. You have okay. no idea how much I wish we could go down this path, but we just don't have time for it. Uh, all right. So you can you it, when you get to here, you see the stairs turn and continue down a bit. Uh, Riella, you're probably at near the end of your sense object, but you you can tell that you were slightly moving away from it as you went to the stairs, but now that you're coming downstairs and coming back this way, you're definitely moving back toward it. Okay. Uh, um, Karen, by the, this time your your fly has probably fallen off as well. Okay. I will land. Makes sense. Gracefully. Can I um, send Clunk to fall down these stairs? 
and see if it draws anything out. Sure. I imagine Zikri uh, yeah, go ahead probably and knows Go ahead and take him, take him. And I'll just <laughs> have him take a step and just fall down the stairs. Command Slinky. Yeah, you can take him all the way to the bottom if, uh, if you think he can survive it. Oh, irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> roll, a, roll a con save for him. Okay. Um, you can't just treat got... your son like this. <laughs> um, he's got plus two. He got twelve. He's fine. so he's he's taking a little more he's taking a little more damage than you thought. Uh, he is going to you go ahead and take four hit points off of him. Okay. But he is he is definitely banged up. It it will be Riala casting mending for quite some time to get all the dents out of him. Oh, he's fine. Don't worry. He'll be long dead before uh, I think about getting any dents out of him. So. It's just because you've already got plans for Clunket, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's already got them in his mind. He's just trying to look for excuses to get rid of Clunk 4 now. <laughs> Nothing has presented itself yet. I've seen the blueprint said there's not the disturbing is what it is. You weren't supposed to look in that notebook. You gave it to me! Private. <laughs> Carola saw it too. It had pictures. <laughs> we just what walked happens? into a study where all five of you were surrounded in a notebook. Uh, <laughs> what happens in Candlekeep stays in Candlekeep. <laughs> I'm going to make my way down the wow. stairs behind Punk. Is, is anything coming up behind us after the racket of Clunk just tr tumbling down the staircase? Make a perception. Back from the floor that you were just on. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yep. Make a perception check, please. 11. Uh, you don't hear anything. Uh, it, you almost imagine that the ghosts upstairs might be shaking their heads like... <laughs> but but you, you don't hear uh, war cries or, you know, calls to action or movement or running or anything. <clears throat> okay. All right, All right. I'm, Riala, I am working on the reveal for you. Uh, all right, Riala, this is a, uh, well, in Cesar, you can start to see this as well. Um, this is a, a high vaulted basement room. Uh, it's full of equipment similar to what you saw in the abandoned laboratory. A uh, bed, a chair, and a table sized for a person of medium build uh, occupy the, the space right next to the doorway in. Uh, stone tables are arranged around the chamber. They're covered with half-finished machines, uh, bits and bobs, pieces of pieces of work in progress. A, um, a large dais built into the far side of the room holds what looks like a cannon mounted on a swivel. Oh, good. Uh, oh, there's boy. an old blue glow inside the cannon's barrel. In the middle of the room is a glimmering bluish white crystal, about eight feet tall and four feet wide. It seems to pulse with energy, uh, filling the room a, a little bit seemingly of, of, of whipping wind and biting cold. It's almost like you're outside again, uh, but they're just kind of like kind of like bits of it. Uh, standing next to the crystal, is a water genasi with turquoise skin and blue robes. And he is uh, guarded closely by an what seems to be some sort of creature made from air or wind. Does he know we're here? Great. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You're not even down yet, and you can see him looking in your direction. I think he is. <clears throat> Good, I moved my hex to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you? Is that, is, that an, is that basically an attack? Do they, do they know they're hexed? I think oh. that this, this is an age-old question, this one, I'm pretty sure. If somebody knows they're hexed or not, and I'm pretty sure that they do. Because it's, uh, what is it, semantic and... But you can... You can. We we can cut right to the chase. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear the monologue. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let him monologue first. I'm gonna lean back to I'll Cesar even... and just say, "We're never gonna get Raidus out of this room." 
It, Aha. It, 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 it's I, fine. I will fly though. <laughs> I will start flying again. DM. There you are, Zikram. Come to put an okay. end to your wizarding schemes. Wait. Oh. I mean, he, we don't. He, we don't need to put an end to his schemes. Dead eyes just, you. <laughs> we just need him to let to let Gazer go. He he dead eyes you across not. the room, and he says. And he says, Zikran, Zikran, with an N. I, uh, all week long you've been saying it with an M. Why would Zicky. I have an M at the end of my name? It's Zicky. N. I'm terribly sorry. How but terribly welcome. rude of me. <laughs> Thank you. That's quite gracious. Now, surrender, I mean, liberate our genie friend, and we may let you live. He slowly looks back at the cannon behind him and then looks back at you at your threat. I'll have my crossbow out. Why? So, a little bit of cannon <laughs> envy, but you know, whatever. <laughs> why, why would I release one of my, one of my all time favorite pets? Convince me, little man. Hmm. Have you seen this magical golem and how brilliant it is? Would you not prefer, perhaps, to keep the state-of-the-art creature that could operate your cannon, and then you could release Gazray, and you get this amazing creature instead? That's, it is a marvel of technology. It looks like something... It looks like something that an artificer built. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, oh. Okay, yes, now we can kill him. <laughs> How dare you insult the artificing arts? Mm. It's much harder than to read a book or a scroll like you do. Is that is that the best convincing you have? Is he the one yeah, who speaks for all of you? Uh, no, he, he, do, he no, does not. I can't stand him from us. He does often. not and speak for us. You he just got the biggest <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Someone distract him. I want to go and blow then, up him. <laughs> then who idea. speaks for him? I mean, we all oh, speak good. for ourselves. Carla not... says, has he, has he monologued yet? I think he's doing it now. Oh, he's getting there. <laughs> Riella, what's your plan? I have an idea. It, it might not work, and it might initiate combat afterward, but... I can try to magically compel him to let our friend go. Yes, I also have the power of suggestion if we want to double up, <laughs> so maybe? So do I. Zikrin, there's, there's no way you're getting out of this. I mean, just just let Gazray go and we can leave you alone. That's all we're here for. I keep we your, to keep, kill him as keep well. everyone... Keep your gem, keep your cannon, whatever. Kind of like the gym. Everyone, make a perception check, please. Down, out, down. Got a ten. Plus seven. I got an actual Eight, twenty. Now you want to roll high? Twenty-seven. Perception. Holy moly. Twenty-six. Twenty-three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> twenty. I'm blinded by rage. Uh, all right, you. <laughs> you guys. Uh, you guys crushed that one. Um, you notice that in in one of his hands, he's carrying some sort of device. Um, it looks like a metal rod with a tip shaped like the head of a bird. Um, and so he's carrying that in one of his hands. Again, why... Why would I release one of my favorite pets? I, I, I might, I might release him, but so far all I've, I've heard is a bit of rage from a bolt tinkerer and uh, a bit of commotion from the rest of you. Because what, what do you need to release him? What, what do you want to trade? Do you want to barter? What sounds good to you? What can we provide? Do you have anything worthwhile to trade or barter? I'm always interested in things. 
Are you like the dragon? Do you like shiny things? What do you like? Do you like coral crowns? It, <laughs> his eyes actually glimmer at that, and he's like, I love shiny things. <laughs> hmm. Anyone? Anyone? Shiny? No, I don't, the keep, crown. I don't keep baubles and things like that with me. I... Uh... Okay. You, Riella, anything? Gave my my good shiny shit to the dragon already. Um, I have a ring. It's uh, it's adorned with the symbol of Simic. I got to be trident. <sighs> and we've got some pendants that can store spells. Ooh. Oh, we gotta get but it. considering the options mm. are let him go or your life I mean these guys are pissed just let him go he's not, he hasn't done you any good in decades he, he seems to reconsider when you say that and he says well yes you of course are right and then I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw please oh boy uh oh, no. oh yes. Uh, I got a nat 20 on a save. It's boring. Is it a magical effect? Is it a spell? It is a spell. Excellent. I have advantage. I have advantage as well. Uh, 21. Wisdom save, you say, yeah? Uh, I got two 14s. It has Wisdom 20. Save, yes. Dirty 15. 20 with advantage. It yeah. has 20. 14. So two fourteens. Oh, and Clunk. Uh, he got a, a ten. So. All right. So. Clunk. And Redus. What, what was yours, Redus? Uh, twenty. I got. So I should be. You okay. twenty. Who, who had who had under seventeen? I did. I had Nella fifteen. And thirty. All righty. So. The three of you that failed your saves are now cats. Oh. And we will roll. <laughs> oh, good right. Cats! I love cats. Or initiative. Oh no! Oh no! Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. So <laughs> I, I have not made, uh, I have not made tokens, but uh. Hold on! I have to look up my attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a kitty cat. Uh, it's plus zero to hat to hit, and claws uh, do one I'm point I'm going to give you all this. Oh! I'm give you all this. The <laughs> screaming. Uh, oh no! Hmm. Clunk is a cat. Oh. And is and he is like he's a wow. very fetching metal cat. In fact. Yeah. Does he just stand still and not move at all like he does when he's a robot? <laughs> it's just a bone still cat. <laughs> just rolled a net one, which so did Caesar. Yep, Great. yeah, yep. <laughs> uh, and actually, as a cat, my dex is only a two, and so I'd go after Caesar. Do I still have my inspiration from last session, which I didn't spend? Tw D20. Yes, mm -hmm. you'll still have it. Oh! I'm nice. going to chuck that in for this initiative because I don't want to go on a 10. And I got another 10, so good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was a worthy spend. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. um, alrighty then. Oh, Carolus, you are up first. Um, Hold on. Go ahead and reorder the tracker again so that Caesar goes before me. Thank you much. I will pass the hex over to the water Janassi. Okay. And then... I will hit him with a level 5 fireball. Ah. Woo! Goodness gracious. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
Uh, DC 18 dexterity save. Tell, tell me where you'd like it um, put. Actually, you you may have control of that. No, I don't. No. Do you have control of that? I'll put it on top All of it. All right, just tell me where you like it centered. Just so, it, obviously, I'm assuming the air elemental was his bitch, so I will try to cover them both. Something like that? Yes. All right. So, Zikrin, his dex, uh, <laughs> he made a seven on his dex save. The air elemental made a 21 on his save. He passed, so he's going to take half. So, what's the damage? The damage, <laughs> squeeze me. Uh, there's more after this, by the way. So there is that, plus that. Uh, 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 I swear to got the genie's wrath on it. Nice. Um, 34, 37 damage. And he may need to roll. All right, so save. If he's concentrating on anything, so. like polymorph, he is not con He is not <clears throat> concentrating. Oh, you know what? You are uh, you are correct. He he is, and he will roll that momentarily. Um, so thirty-seven. Yeah. And so the air elemental takes half of that since he saved. Yep. So that's um, thirty-eight. Eighteen. Eighteen. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Which means 18 is also the uh, concentration DC. All right. And con. 13. Oh, snap. He only made a 14 on his con save. So he's hey. dropped any uh, concentration. So. Yep, so uh, Bertram and Riala and Clunk are no longer cats. You are returned. Yay! To your normal. No. Beautiful <laughs> statuses. So terrified. <laughs> oh, cats. I didn't have time to pet Riala. <laughs> <laughs> he has a disadvantage on strength saves. Let's go with that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else for you, sir? Um, I am just flying where I am. 30 feet up. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, yeah, so at, at 30 feet, you're, you're close to kind of scraping the ceiling, but yeah, it is vaulted wherever, in here, so you're, you're, fine at, you're fine at 30. You're like a yeah, big yeah, big yeah, 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 you're, you're fine at 30. High. <laughs> just scraping the top of the ceiling. <laughs> keep, keep taking um, damage because I keep bumping my head. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, that, you blew me away with that. I was not expecting a, a big ass fireball like that. that uh, he is going to say, Wow, nice, nicely played. Thank you. And he is going to cast another spell. If you can believe it, because uh, he's a wizard. Mm. Um, so this will be a 50 foot radius, 100 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. He is casting reverse gravity. Wow. Okay. Well, I, and so um, this will I cover. Counter spell that. This will cover. Fifth level counter spell. Oh, I'm sorry. Fifth level counter spell. Uh, cool. uh, all right. You will have to roll to counter spell. Fifth level. What, what level is uh, reverse gravity? Yeah. I can't remember what it is. Seven. <clears throat> oh wow. Jeez, I'm crow. Okay, what do I need to roll? Seventeen. Yeah. DC is ten plus the spell level. Um, do I get any bonuses on that? What's your um? What's your charisma? Charisma's plus five. So yeah. you have to roll. Yeah. You get it plus five. Twenty plus five. D20 plus 5. I rolled a 17. There you go. That will do it. 
No, it's a shame me that. I can't move my feet. <laughs> Seven eagles. They crack a dice. The funds of having a cast spell wizard. Yeah. Mm. Wait, oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, you, you absolutely counterspell it. Um, okay. So that spell just fizzles. The and pregnant oh, pause hey. of the distraught DM. Very, very, very pregnant pause on his face from the smile that was the cats to the reverse gravity to the counter spell. Uh, and the smile just leaves his face. Give him a wink. Yeah. Um, going, going on initiative 20 is the cannon. Okay. And because you have just fucked him up twice in a row, he is going to fire the elemental cannon at Carolus. That's not very friendly. It's um, funny because it looks like a violin. Must make it, it does! Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, oh, you this thing isn't dangerous at all. Dex saving throw, please. Is it a spell effect? It is, isn't it? Ooh. <sighs> I guess it would be. It's mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not specifically stated that way, but my guess is it would be because it so is magical elemental effects. magic. It's a magical effect. Uh, so I get advantage, which I rolled a full, uh, 14. It's my highest. 14 does not save. So you, <coughs> sir, will take slash R... 24 points of cold damage. Very friendly. Ooh. 24. Rita's his eyes light up because he's um, in love with this machine. Rita's make a perception check with advantage. Oh, cool. Okay. So I need to do I a con a save 15. as well. What's my con 15. save for that? Um, that I'm sorry? Well, so I'll let Harry go first. No, I'm just trying to figure out your con save as well. My con save. What would be my con save for Hex? For concentration. Um, concentration. Also, are you concentrating on flying? Oh, so it, no. it's 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 no. ten or half the damage, which is whichever is higher. So it'd be twelve for your con 12, save. This is twelve. Mm. I've got plus eight, so should be okay. I've got a thirteen on a dice, so my hex is still okay. up. <laughs> so the hex I saved. Read us. What was your perception? Fifteen. So you notice that just before, like as Zikrin's turn was finishing, and right before the cannon fired, the the the, the crystal it, it was just surging with power. The kind of kind of the, the sparks and bits that it was doing around it surged with power, and then the cannon fires. So possibly the crystal is important to the cannon. Did the crystal take uh, fire? Damage? Now it is the. Pardon? Did the crystal take fire damage from the fireball? Uh, I, I mean, it was in the middle of it, but you're not sure. You didn't hear it scream out. Okay. Ah, I'm hurt. Um, the crystal. And now it is the. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot! The air elemental. What's his fly speed? Oh yeah, he's a lot. Is right up in amongst to Carolus, and will oh, make two attacks. So he is actually flying above where uh, up above where Carolus is. So he's probably out of everyone's at reach range. Uh, and he will make two attacks at you. Uh, one of which is a dirty twenty, and one of which is a twelve. 20 hits. <clears throat> All right. So you are going to take uh, 12 damage and then a con save for the hex, please. So that's, so that's 12 DC. bludgeoning. How oh, do we lose uh, Madeline? I didn't see that's DC 10. DC 10. Uh, I rolled an 18. Uh, Madeline. Okay. Uh, so that you have saved again. My dice are on fire. Apart from earlier when I rolled a one and a three. 
Uh, and then the air elemental's turn is done. Riala. Okay. I'm gonna try it just because I really. You know what's funny? I don't know why I didn't move Zikrin during his turn. That was really. But you you, you so bamboozled me right with there. your counter spell. <laughs> you, uh, you bamboozled me with your counter spell. Just play that as him being hesitant after he's been counter spelled, which is understandable. Yeah, he was a little flabbergasted. Yeah. Or Zikrin. I'm gonna look at Zikrin, and I'm gonna say, "Look, all you've got to do is let Gazre go, release him, and we'll leave. And I'd like for you to make a Wisdom saving throw." You say that to him? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> I'm casting Gesh. Oh, this is a cool spell. Uh, a 14. What does it do? 14 fails. I'll okay. put it in chat. I can issue any command short of an activity that would result in certain death. And on his turn, if he does anything other that acts in a manner directly counter to my instructions, he'll take 5d10 psychic damage. Oh, God. Disagree. Oof. And it lasts for 30 days. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, just a quick one for the DM. All right. So your your command was your command was what? To release Gazri. Okay. What were you gonna say, Harry? Um just making sure that this guy has no legendary actions because he's not taken any yet. It feels as though. And you expect me? You expect me to just tell you that out of the goodness of my know. heart? No, he's not give you hundred dollars. When six, yeah. I'm not when sure. six, six of you made your saves on mass polymorph, and you fucking rolled yeah, a yeah. counter spell yep. against my seventh level spell. <laughs> That's true. Inclined yeah. Inclined. I just won't give you anything sure. out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. Well, let's hope. He nice doesn't. try. Nice he may try. Be saving though. them for something. I'm just still yeah. curious about that guy. This hmm. is uh, Zikram. Anything, anything else, Riala? No. That'll do it. Ah, Shiza. Nina. Yeah. Yeah, that's my name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. So, since this. Air th- I, saw, I cut out for a second, so like this this air dude is like all up in our business right here, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's trying like to hurt thirty me. foot above us. He's he's above you. He's actually fighting with Carolus above all of you. Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. It's not very friendly. Um, well, I'm a I'm I'm gonna slide down here just 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 a bit. One second. Shoot. Yeah, that'll do. And, uh... <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move the <coughs> hex over. Can Wait, can I move the hex to Zikrin? And indeed. Mm-hmm. With a bonus action. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move the hex over to Zikrin. I'm also going to cast. Wait, um, the the thing that you just cast, Riallo, was that on Zikrin? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And he can't do anything yet. I mean, he can do whatever he wants, but he just has been commanded to release Gazre. Okay. So. Does, like he has to do it though. Like, does he have to do it? He can choose not to. He can uh, choose he'll... not to. If he chooses not to, he'll take a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of double that up on him, I guess. So I'm gonna cast suggestion. Jeez. <laughs> um. So I'm okay. close enough to do it, and so he has to make a wisdom saving throw. That will drop your hex, by the way. What is your suggestion? To release Gazray. Uh, 
Uh, 15. Oh, it has to be a 17. <laughs> Sorry, what? You got excited. <laughs> no, it's, it's so true though, because you have that moment of like, if this, if he makes this safe, it's totally <laughs> wasted. <laughs> like, ah. Hmm. We fucked wow. up. Wow. Uh, uh, all right. Buddy. I'm feeling the. I'm feeling the barrel cut into me as you guys continue to bend me over it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 so I'm just I'm like looking up spells left and right here to to see what loopholes they have. Yeah. Uh, what else would you like to do, Mina? Um. I, I I think that's all I can do for now. Yeah. Like I already. Well, you, yeah. You I don't think, you don't have hex wait. anymore. I don't have hex anymore. No, because suggestions is a concentration spell. Got it. So I can't use a bonus action. You've already used your bonus action to move your hex. Got it. So I do have one attack left, but I don't. No suggestion isn't a, a, a one action. Yeah. So you, yeah. you've got you've got a reaction left. That's it. Okay, so a reaction would be: Can I move with this reaction? No. You might still have no. some movement. You can move with your movement, but oh, you've already okay, moved. Okay, cat. Yeah, yeah, I moved. You've got. Um, <laughs> yes, you're I think I think you might be tapped. Is it yeah. not enough what you've done to me already? <laughs> like I don't okay. I was just I was going through what I could do, man. That's all I, that's all that's all that's all I got. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Uh gosh. Is it um Uh Redis, your turn. Yeah, sure. I'm going to dash to the cannon. <laughs> Get out of the way! Let me at the cannon. Uh, Redis will charge into danger to get to this cannon because he thinks he can operate. I mean that that checks out. <laughs> so, oh, okay. uh, Sixty foot to get to there. I wish I, wish I was had some sort of teleport spell, uh, but dash is my action anyway, and I will. Let well, teleports for wizards, if you remember. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've already got my suspicions about Carolus. I've seen him fly today, so he made us be a wizard pretending to be a warlock. Um, let's go 5, 10, 15. Is that elemental just going to let him go? 30. I'm not in his range. Oh, were he's, you not? No. Not in his range. Okay. Because he's, uh, he's up with Carolus. He's engaged oh, with Carolus above. Okay, okay. Um, How tall are the ceilings Lee, down there? Lee has done you all pro... Uh, he's, oh. Lee said he was up like 25, 30 feet, so... Okay. I mean, it is a giant-sized uh, room, the, so I, how tall are the ceilings? Like 25, 30 feet? The, the, right about that. Yeah, 25, 30 feet. The air elemental only has a reach of uh, five feet, actually. This ends my turn. Uh, Okie dokie. Cesar. Right. Um, I'm going to move up next to Mina. That's like a thingy. All right, so. If problem. you cast suggestion as well, I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> that's not true, because that's not true, because I can't fight you. <laughs> but. Uh, no, but um, yeah, with the with the shield out, um, because I I feel like just like shit's about to pop off. Um, Mina, what's your uh? Wait, no, I can't do that. Sorry. Um, what I. I'm gonna hold an action until um, uh, Zekrin gets closer to us, if he moves on us. Okay. Noted. Uh, is that you? That's me. Bertrand. Okay. Um, we finally got to you, man. We made it. All the way down here at level three. All the way. <laughs> so... I'm going to move forward and just kind of hold my sword out to the side and say, like, all right, Zikrin, do the right thing. Leave the rest of them alone. And I'm going to try to cast Compelled Duel on him. <laughs> So, wisdom save. 
Okay. Tell me what Compel Duel does. Um, it is in Jesus chat. Christ. Um, he gets a, on a failed save. He's drawn to me, compelled uh, for the duration, has disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone other than me, uh, and must make a wisdom saving throw each time it attempts to move more than 30 feet away from me. We love okay. you, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I, but I wizards. don't, I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to attack you on my next action. You don't have to attack me, no. You just get disadvantage to attack anyone okay. other than me, and you can't move more than thirty feet away. Copy. Uh, all right. What uh, what else you got for me? Um, that's a bonus action. So, I will. Hold. I'm gonna use some dope ass monk shit and just beat the crap out of you. Cool. No, 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 no. I will. I'll. I will hold my action, and if he does anything other than release Gazray, I'll attack him. Okay. Fair enough. Anything else? Nope. That's it. It's like a D and D gun to the Carolus. side. <laughs> um also the the compelled duel ends if anyone else damages him. So I'm going to say I'm going to yell at everyone else uh take care of the elemental. Does the elemental look damaged? At all? I mean I know I've hurt him but I mean, it's he's real windy. Not so you notice. I mean, he did take some fireball damage, but that's the only damage that has been done to him, to your recollection. Okay. Um, well, I will move the hex to him as a bonus action, and then I will blast him twice. With Eldritch Blast. Are you at disadvantage since that's a ranged attack, and I you're indeed. Up on him? Yes. So I will roll the first one first. I rolled a 12 and a 14, so the 23. Second one, I rolled a that 4 hits. and a 14, so it's 15. Uh, Actually, yeah, I wouldn't be at disadvantage on the second one. So the first one hit, and it would have pushed him back Why to not? the feet. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I don't know how that worked. <laughs> uh, would a 15 God hit? Damn it. God damn it. Yeah, 15's a contest. Okay. Um, I'll roll that anyway. I rolled a 15. 11. <clears throat> right. So, so, it sounds like both of them hit. Yes, it's pushed back 20 feet away from me. I rolled... Nice. 20 feet. Uh, so that's 7, that's 18, 28, 32 damage. Good God. Yes. Oh, good, he's right here. Uh, yeah. And then I he, fl yeah, he's, he's, he's so way high, though. He's he's above. Yeah, I fly down to Riala. Oh, I float down to Riala. Okay. That's, that's me, me done. Uh, excellent. So now it is Zikrin's turn. Yes. Zikrin gonna rethink his life choices uh zikrin <laughs> is going to move to the other side of the crystal would you like to take your ao bertrand mm. yeah because i said if he did anything other okay. than try to release him i'd i'd attack him so it's a 17 S studied strike you can't, can you? 17 will hit him. It's a five. I don't think I can stunning strike as part of my reaction no, attack. No, no, no. Yeah, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> also, I don't think so. I, I should because he's guessed, so. Release Gazray Gaz Gaz will kill you. Also, I'm going to stun you, so you can't release Gazray. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cruel. Paradox. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, Paradox. to be honest, that sounds that sounds right out of y'all's playbook. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Paradox. Paradox. Into, uh, into uh, psychic damage. Yep. 
<laughs> because of the damage that was just done, compelled duel ends, suggestion ends. Because what those happened? both end if he takes damage from the party. You damage No, damage from anybody besides oh, Bertram com for compelled duel, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I yeah, I uh, can hit him all I want right. for compelled yeah. duel. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So a suggestion though does end. Okay. Not cool. Um <laughs> He will uh, blame it on Bertram. <laughs> I didn't know. He will he will he, So he's out he is currently out of sight of all of you. And he uh he laughs and is it's a very appreciative laugh and he says, "You know, I uh I truly underestimated all of you. This is this is folly on my part. Um well, well, well played." Um and then you hear him muttering a spell of some description. But since all of you hate wizards, you don't really know what it is. Uh, although, actually, there were there are a couple of you that, that might know what it is. Um, I will let Cesar and Riala and Carolus. True. Uh, but I will let Cesar and Riala and Carolus and Mina uh, all roll a perception. Perception. To see if you think you can understand 16. what he just did. Holy shit. Um, 30, 20. Perception. Uh, 28. <laughs> Perception. Nice, Cesar. 22. Pretty much all of you realize that he just did remove curse on himself. Oh, Bastard. nutter nutter. What would that do? Would that do? What, what would that get rid well, of? Geese. It takes off geese, yeah. Well, it gets, just... it gets, gets rid of Gaius for sure. Okay, I'll count as I don't it. know My if it gets slot. rid of compelled duel. There's nothing. Uh, don't you have to be able to see them to counterspell? I can hear if I can hear it. Is it not? Is that true? Double double check. I thought you Attempt had to be able to interrupt the creature processor. The creature is casting a spell third level or lower. It's third level or lower. If the spell fails and there's no, it's cast level fourth or lower. Make an ability check. Yeah, yeah. DC. Um, doesn't yeah, say anything about. Yeah, it says what you take when you see a creature within. See 60 a creature feet within sixty feet. Yeah. Can I not see him from where I am? Oh, 60 feet anyway, isn't it? Uh, yeah, okay. I think you're beyond the 60, yeah, I and I don't know range. that you can oh, see I am him. With, I'm within the 60, but... Yeah, the crystal is 4 feet wide and 8 feet tall. I, I would say that you probably can what, see him, see but I will counterspell your counterspell. It, I, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's, it's kind him, of a bluish-white, yeah, so you can... Yeah, you can see you can see him a little bit. I'll just counterspell your counterspell. Anybody else want to play this game? I'm counterspell oh. your counterspell. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure you can counterspell a counterspell. No, 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 I was just joking. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, no, well, you joking. can counterspell a counterspell. But yeah, yeah, yeah remove but... Curse, which is a spell, right? So you can't do two spells in one turn. He can with a counterspell. A counterspell is a reaction. Yeah. It's a reaction. Counterspell is a reaction. Ah, oh, right, okay. But if I did it, he'd have to cast it at fifth level. So, nah. right. I got slots, baby. Y'all have shut me down every other way. I got, <laughs> I got plenty of spare slots. Which I, I haven't I, been able to do any bit of damage yeah, to any uh, of you. I, I, if I can't see him, I wouldn't. Uh, so do. You... I mean, okay. Yeah, then, then we'll then we'll we'll both save our slots then. <laughs> um, and so I've cast a spell. I don't actually have any bonus spells I can use right now. Um, so I will... That was 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, goddamn monk's gonna be right up on me soon. Uh, I'm gonna I'm end run the turn there. <laughs> huh? Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, uh, he is going to fire the elemental cannon again. And this time, he's going to fire the elemental cannon at Riala. And so I need you to make a deck saving throw, please. Not good. Um, seven. 
That falls a little bit short. Just a bit, probably. Oof. So you're going to take 22 points of cold damage. Again, uh, Redis, you notice that the, the just as the just before the, the cannon fires, the crystal, you know, the energy kind of surges around and um, and then it just kind of all releases, but from the cannon. <clears throat> hmm. um, OK, that's the elemental cannons turn. Uh, Air Elemental, who is still flying is going to, oops, that's my pointer, <laughs> is going to come over and fly down to tangle with Bertrand. And yeah. we'll make two attacks against Bertrand. For a 21 and a 19. Both hit. Okay. Oh, sorry. Slash R four D eight. You take twenty five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Is that total between both hits? And yes, that's that's a total. That's total. Twenty five. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I then need to... Riala, it is your. I need concentration checks for compelled duel. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. So that would be a, a DC 12 on those. But each one oh, is no, it, its own attack. Crap, yeah. I rolled them together. Yeah. Okay. Did you do right, so more then, than 20 damage on that either of them? So I did it all as one inline roll. So it's so it's a five and a two is seven plus five is Unless 12. you did more than 20 damage and then, in one attack, they're both DC 10. That's right. It, yeah, no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. Okay. So, so yeah, DC 10s. First one is a 21, second is a 19. So I'm cool. Okay, you save. Riala. I am going to cast a fourth level Guiding Bolt at Zikrin. That'll, that will break the compelled You have tool. to be able to see him? Uh, it doesn't say I have to be able to see him. It just says uh, range spell attack. I think you have to be able to see him and you... for any spell, right? For a range spell attack, it's as good as firing a bow, pretty much. So, like these types of things, kind of. I mean, yes. I can. I'm happy to move if I need to. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, I, I would say you probably need to move, but uh, but you're within range, so. Yeah. You may have like a little bit of cover there. I, I'm I'm gonna say that he doesn't have cover just because of the cuts on the facets on the gym. Okay. I can. I mean, I got enough movement to go one more if that helps. Yeah. E either way, it, you don't have to move, but if you want to, you may. Okay. Um. That is a thirteen on the dice plus eight, so that, that twenty-one. Hits. Twenty-one hits. What's about music? This is more like a dirge music for Zikrin, so he's <laughs> just playing him off. He's just playing. Classic. You know, it's funny. I was gonna do it on. I was gonna do it on the uh, the mass uh, polymorph, and then all you some bitches saved, <laughs> oh. and it was very anticlimactic to put the music on. 27. Uh, so what's the damage? 27 damage. 27. Oof. Oofta doofta. And so that breaks the compelled duel, you said, Nathan? It does, yeah. Yes. Sorry, Riel is pissed that he uh, shrugged off her gesh, so she's going to hit him regardless. Um, and so he does, like, light up in, like, a glowing, sparkling um, little... Halo surrounding him, the next attack has advantage. 
All right, Mina. Muted, muted Mina. Oh, sorry. Um, that's exciting. I said since, well, I have an advantage. That's exciting. Um, all right, so I'm moving over here so that I have him in sight. But so I'm going to... I, I already moved Tex to him, yes? That would have been dispelled. Yes. Yeah. You, it would have been dispelled? You lost Hex when you cast Suggestion. Okay. Do I have to, do oh, I have to cast it again yeah. then? If, if you've got a slot to do it. Oh, got it. Um, you should have two slots. Suggestion <laughs> What's a spell button? slot? <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably both slots gone. Yeah, both slots are gone. Suggestion doesn't take a slot from you, so unless it's one of your spells selected. Um, I suggestion would have, I think, taken a slot because it was um, suggestion and hex would have been. Yeah, well, I've got suggestion both. as well, but it doesn't take one of my slots. So. Oh, like, okay. I don't. I, I think that's because I'm a snake. I don't know. That must be it. Yeah, maybe. It was. It was a fifth level suggestion. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, yeah then, I got. Yeah. It. Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, fodder nutter. Um, okay, so I am going to cast a thing. Um, <laughs> one second. I, I like it so far. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm going to cast something. Um, okay, so I'm going to cast, I guess, Eldritch Blasts, uh, two of them. Um, all right, so have since, it. since I don't have hex, it's just 2d10. 2d10 plus, right? plus 10, yeah, if you hit both, Plus yeah. 10, okay. So, cool. Does a, <laughs> does a 27 hit? And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> does a 20 hit yes they both hit cool cool cool, cool. um all right so 2d10 um wait 2d10 plus 10 2d10 plus 10 yep. okay so that is a 15 plus 10 so that's 25 Do, i don't roll d6s though right because of the x not being there that's correct, yeah. Did you? Correct, okay. Correct. Okay, so 25 damage. Okay. Wait, plus advantage? Yeah, we've already From... Okay. You could roll one extra if you crit. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure, like, if it was yeah. with advantage yeah. from Riala's... Yeah, just just well, roll another d20 if it's a crack. It, it, your, your first one... Yeah, roll, roll one more d20. Aw, it was only an eight. Okay. So, so close. If it was just rolled one more time, it would have been the crit. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed 12 more to make a 20. Uh, okay. All right. Anything else from you? That That is all. Read us. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to operate this actual, this cannon, because he seems to be using the crystal. So I'd have caught onto that. I Can I, like, slide over this table? sort of, you know, Stasky and Hutch style. Is that possible? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll say that. the These have been uh, altered. They're no longer as tall as the tables and the rest of the keep are, because those oh, are yeah. stone, those are cloud giant sized. These have these have all been altered so that he can work from them. Makes so sense. yeah, you can Starsky and Hutch it. I'll, okay. I'll allow you to try that. Woo! I will slide across. Five, 10, 15. And then I'll go, I'll do a little combat roll, you know, as well when I get off the table and I'll land in sort of a kneeling position. Right. <laughs> I feel like I have to roll acrobatics for uh, what was I here? Yeah, ma okay. Make it make an flavor. acrobatics check it's just flavor. because the sli the sliding I was fine with and then you threw in <laughs> combat roll and so now I'm gonna need an acrobatics. Here I go. What's my um what's my dexterity? Plus three. So I got an eleven. So you know, not bad. You know what? You smooth, you smooth go across the table, Woo. and then you combat roll, and yeah. you. Uh, where's my D four? When you come up, 
you are facing the cannon. Uh, you come okay. up with your crossbow ready to drop a fucking shot down, I and you're looking cannon. at the cannon. <laughs> okay? I, and uh, then I realized my mistake. I got the bit turned around. Right, okay. Uh, so. roll, uh, you, can, you can shoot the cannon. Roll, roll to hit. I got a 19. That hits uh, the cannon. And then that would be an 8 plus 5, 13 damage. Does it have okay. any noticeable effect whatsoever? Well, it's, sure. I mean, a, a little bit of a, of a piece kind of pops off for sure, but I will tell you it has an AC and it has hit points. All right. Well, I don't want to destroy the cannon. I don't need that cannon. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to use my other attack to shoot a Zikram. You're going to hit you with the cannon next now because you didn't okay. hit it. <laughs> Yeah, sure, probably. Uh, sure you don't yeah. want to destroy that crystal so that he can't use it against you? Um, no, because I need mm. that crystal. <laughs> I need it when I use the cannon against the wizards. Um, so, 22. <laughs> I got a 22. This is on Zikrin? Yeah. That, that, that unfortunately hits Zikrin, yes. Okay, for a total of 6 plus uh, 5, 11 damage. Wow. Uh, all right. And oh, I'll move uh, on as well. else for you? 10, 15, 20, 25. Actually, yeah. And, He's uh, not going to do a Dukes of Hazard and a combat roll as well? He just walks through the table. <laughs> and the table sort of walks with him. <laughs> like a, a Skyrim NPC. Azar. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving the furniture. Uh, yeah. So, um... Shield and trident in hand. I'm gonna walk up to this um, air elemental. Um, mm -hmm. I'm like, like, like dragging the the, the tongs of the of the trident on the ground, so like they spark up. Um, and as I say to the air elemental, um, "You've forgotten your true purpose. Now you will answer to Calypso." I cast holy weapon on my trident. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to attack it. So that's going to be... All uh, right. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Cool. So it's going to be... Um, the first uh, attack is 1d6 plus 2. That's just the regular... like The, the trident. Um, so that's going to be... Excuse me, eight damage plus uh, 2d8 radiant damage from Holy Weapon. Uh, that's a seven. And I have an ability that when I hit a creature with a cantrip or a melee attack, I get to add on 1d8 uh, radiant damage. And that's maybe another two damage onto it. So that last bit was plus nine or minus nine. It was two and seven and then your first bit of damage is that right yes so, okay uh all right uh it's the radiant damage kind of flows through and the the, the wind and and air kind of lights up it's very pretty <laughs> uh but yeah you for sure hit him i mean it, it definitely some some bits of air have have come off of him he's he's smaller than than when you began uh, and that's that's it. That's all I got. Oh, Bertram. Let's do it. You know what's coming. I'm not, this is what I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> Let's kick it. Uh, I'm moving straight up toward him. All right. Uh, first attack with the sword. Fifteen. Uh, 15 is a contest. Hey. I got an 18. Ah, uh -huh. 16. Yes. Balls. All right. Well, go ahead and run. Roll that uh, con save for the uh, stunt. Is it a con save? Shoot. What is it? 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 Pretty sure it's uh, concept. Yeah, I, I don't so. know. Concept, I think. Yeah. Where'd it, it go? Is, is it an intelligence save? Mm, <laughs> it's definitely not that. 
I'm too smart to be stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, con save DC 13. Uh, I have rolled a natural 20 on that. Okay. Uh, seven points of damage regardless. Uh, second attack. Second attack is a nat one, so going great so far. <laughs> uh, we'll spend the key point. Um, ro- uh, on that nat one, roll me a a a one d two, and tell me which side comes up. I don't have my one d. I'll use Kiris. Hold on. Yeah, use Kiris. This is not going to go well using someone else's die. Yeah. Ooh, I got a Kraken. We're okay. Wait, this is an actual thing? Yeah, it's either, little... it's, it's either you, a though? one or a Kraken? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can yeah. the two, yeah. Just yeah. so you know, I It's either a, uh, one, okay. it's a oh, one or a 20. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's bloody brilliant. <laughs> um, okay, so continue. Okay. So, unarmed strike. So I burnt, I burnt the key point for uh, Flurry Blows. That's a 21 for the unarmed strike. All right, and that hits. I, it's seven points of damage. And I need another con save. Uh, I have rolled a 19. Okay. And last flurry. Of I'm flurry. glad that this is paying off because it didn't pay off on the wisdom saves. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 17 to hit, which is six points of damage, and once again, another con save. Oof, I don't know that I can pull three in a row. <laughs> uh, 18. All right. Oh, wow. I have an 18 and a four. Yeah, you made it. Ah, and I didn't divine smite or anything. Bummer. All right. That's uh, all I, I got. am shocked. That for that twenty that I saved on, I rolled a twenty and a one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you rolling at advantage? Uh. Hmm. Okay. I have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. It is not a magical effect at all. It's a stunning strike. Yeah, it's uh, like um, a special key flow, non-magical kill a bill thing. Yep. <laughs> Well, but, it can't be a non-magical attack and not be a magical effect, though, can it? Uh, it can't yeah, be a magical yeah. attack and be a non-magical <laughs> effect. The the magical... Because even if my attacks were non-magical, the stun I can still stun it. Like, a monk that does not have magic attacks okay. can still the, stunning strike. It's a... It's, you interrupt the key in their body. I'm not saying we have to re-roll or anything, okay. but... I would question whether yeah, so that that it's then is a is that then may be a major snafu on my part, but there's still six of you and one of him. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I still know how this is going because I can see the numbers and it's oh, yeah. not going in my direction currently. I don't know. He's still standing. Uh, I did. I did. I did not realize that, though. So that is uh, that probably is a, a, a bad on me. So apologies for that. Not worried. Um, Carolus. Yeah, Mr. 40 Point Elder's Blast coming up online here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will fly. I will fly over to here and shoot. I will move my hex first to Zikram and fire two Eldritch Blasts. Can Elder's Blast be counterspelled? It's a cantrip. Uh, cantrip. Cantrip. I mean, technically, you can counter spell uh, a cantrip. It's an attack, though, isn't it? I mean, it's still a cantrip. Sure, you can counter spell it if he wants to. Can you? Okay. You can counter spell yeah. a spell, any spell, and I'll just pass this spell. Yeah, so it's, it's a, it is a spell. It, it, that's a that's a that's a melee attack spell, right? Yeah. 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 Range, yes. okay, it's on the spell list. Yeah. Then, then I then I will counter one of them. Because I can counter one of them. You can counter uh, both of them. It, it would, it would, it would counter all of them. I can't because it's a reaction. No, no, no but, but, it, but one, one, will it? one casting of Eldritch Blast fires multiple bolts, and so counter spelling. Oh, the well one. Then. Oh. Yeah. I rolled a sixteen and a crit, so I'm going to counter your counter. 
with my last spell slot. <clears throat> okay. Good. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh gosh. Take that. Ow. <laughs> Yowza. Holy shit. Yeah, man. Let's get it. It's <laughs> my last spell slot. Level, level five counter. Yeah. All right. So there's 14 damage straight out of the bat. And then what have we got here? So it's 14. 24, 32, 37, oh my gosh, 41, 44, 47. Jeez. How you doing? Well, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> not good. And he gets pushed back Tell 20 feet. Oh, like. no, oh, he's dead. Run. Okay. No, um, he gets oh. ragdolled. He gets <laughs> ragdolled 20 feet. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> literally just, just fire one straight to his chest, puts a hole straight in the middle of his chest, and then the next one just blows his head off. That was easy, wasn't oh it? Gosh, yeah. It's pretty gruesome. Different. Pardon? That was easy, wasn't it? And that'd be me. It's my go. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was good, wasn't it, Riala? Uh, piece of cake. Uh, <laughs> all right, we are, we are still in the initiative order, though. Anything else for your turn, sir? <laughs> no, that's me. Reaction, bonus action, move, and action. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is do you wipe the sweat from your brow? No. <laughs> uh, already, so I haven't got enough movement. Next, <laughs> next up is the uh, the old violin case, <laughs> and you all wait, and the energy is crackling around the crystal, and then it's the elementals' turn. Ah, okay, doesn't have any direction, and the air elemental. I had not planned on what to do now. Um, the Is that what he says? <laughs> that voice, I hope so. <laughs> yes, he says, he says, um. <laughs> like, listen, guys, this is just a job. He was a jerk anyway. Can we just, <laughs> I'll just peace out, guys. The air, the air elemental is going to move over toward the crystal. Do I get an attack of opportunity? And he is going to make... Sure. Uh, yeah, because he was engaged at the floor level, so. Yeah. Nice. Uh, 18. That hits. Cool. And does the rest of my shenanigans still uh, stack onto this, even though it's a. Uh... Okay. <laughs> the. The what? What shenanigans? When I when I oh, hit something, I do I do I do like I do um, an additional radiant damage on top of that. Yeah, it would. Yeah, if your holy weapons, if it's from your holy weapon, yes. Well, well, no, not just that. I have the radiant your, damage from my holy weapon. Yeah, your clerical thing ability. is once per turn. Per, which per is, turn, and which which means you can. Okay. Because yeah. it's not your turn. It's the same as sneak attack. Gotcha. Well, but it, but he used it on his last turn, and it has not refreshed yet. No, no, no. It's on a person's turn. So, so sneak attack. If I sneaked attack someone, and then next, say so you then moved away, yeah, I could then. It's not my turn. So, so it's, it's, it was someone else's turn, which means they, they could then do another one. So you could effectively sneak attack more than once per round. Honestly, I've I've been playing jacks for so long. I had to look into this. Okay. Yeah. It is yes, but Jack steals things from his own party members, so I don't know that I trust that. <laughs> trust me, I'm a god. Uh, all right, so I, to, if nothing else, to make up for my snafu with Nate, uh, I will say that you can be shenanigan filled. Cool. Uh, I wrote two ones in this, so you, <laughs> so it's gonna be three, 
uh, six, uh, seven, that's 13. Okay. Uh, pretty wispy. Pretty wispy. <laughs> Uh, the air elemental is going to make both of his attacks on the crystal. No, stop him. No, stop. Uh. <laughs> uh, 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 and he hits with both of those. And that is 2D. Yeah, you, you couldn't have used that blessed strike because yeah, it's the start of your next turn. The start of my next turn? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, bear with me one moment here. I need to send that away. No. And ah, uh, uh. well, what did it do? Still it controls the Ooh, cannon. Token layer. Oh, did it destroy it? Don't worry, oh. I'm very experienced with the mending cantrip. I hope that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to cut it, Riala. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. Well, well, well man. Uh, it. This crystal, it, it, so it, it cracks and shatters into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces. Uh, but Riala, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm close enough here. Yes. I'm just going to toll the dead on the air elemental. <laughs> Worked on his moist boy. Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten how wise air elementals are? Uh, clearly. <laughs> mm, very nice. <laughs> That's a one. It's a one. <laughs> uh, damage it up. Um, eight plus six, 14 damage. So if you would, Tell me what it looks like when you're told the dead on an air elemental. Pick this air elemental apart. Um, I guess it just like you know the little like well it's not little the enormous like spectral bell just comes over and just starts like shaking, and um, the air just like starts swirling and swirling inside, kind of like a tornado because it's like getting shaken up until it just like spins itself completely out and just like poof, gone. Amazing. Uh, all right, friends, uh, let me get rid of this nasty thing. We just will run over Oops. to Zikran. He'll put a hand on the headless corpse and he'll just say, he's dead. He's, he's dead, Jim. Yeah. Uh, as you're him. running over to, uh, as you're running over to desecrate his the wizard body, uh, you notice that the the <laughs> the cannon is hanging in a very obscenely limp manner. Oh no! That's oh. a limp cannon. Nobody likes a limp cannon. Oh. Nobody. Can I do a? I've got. I don't have Who to has? And the blue Who has gone. the book with? Gazray in it. I was, does. I was actually headed gonna, toward her. Yep. It's I was me. about to do yeah. the same. Mina, you, drop the book. Drop you, the book. You hear? There's a there is a bit of commotion about. in the in the bag. <laughs> you both pull your books out. <laughs> Read it. Mina, so, yeah, yeah. you know, the one that <laughs> you're talking about. Mina, you know, the one that you're holding. The lock, just absolutely shatters, and you hear just. A, hor a horrifically loud scream of anguish. Oof. You flip the front cover of the book open and there's nothing. And you wait. And you wait. And you wait. And then next to where the book was materializes and appears before you the form of a djinn, a genie. Ooh. And he's just, the, if, if genies can have tears, there are, there are tears flowing from his face and 
he just he looks at his hands and he reaches down and he feels the table and he looks over and he sees all of you and just the most gracious grateful smile that maybe any of you have ever seen is on his face and he and he's just is almost overcome with emotion and, and nearly he just can't really come up with the words to, to say anything I hug him like big old bear hug, like yeah. Under the air. <laughs> Me too. We're just we're bear hugging on either side. Mm -hmm. He uh, he he graciously accepts, and it is it, you can tell that it, it it has been too long since he has had any kind of interaction, and and he beats beats back the tears and and rests control of himself, and, and he says, "Oh, uh, my friends, I, uh, I I I I have not the words." to thank you um uh, please uh, have you have you decided what i uh, what you wish with what you want with with your with your wish i'm i'm ready i'm prepared to cast it for you at this moment mental cannon <laughs> does it have to be this moment Elemental no, we we had discussed the possibility of of enchanting something magical, say, and he gestures back to the book that he had been in, a former spell book, uh, as as such. I can I can enchant that, and and it would be somewhat like a sensor of controlling air elementals, but rather than summoning any air elemental, it it would only summon me, uh, no, and and you would have to use it within the next year. Can we just have like a, a quick team meeting? Team oh, absolutely. And he will he will move over to the ragdolled corpse of Zikrin and he's not mistreating it, but he's just looking at it. There's there's anger and there's pity and it just he's he's all the emotions all at once are happening and he's not sure how he should feel about seeing the body of someone he had collaborated with, yet someone who had trapped him so so horrifically for so long but yeah you guys are are able to to be away from him and and do and speak about what you need hmm. didn't we talk about giving uh clunk some sentience you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but he Don't could know. put that gem back together too and make this cannon work do we need a cannon i'm sure readers well, could make could fix that I don't know. It's it's crystals. I'm not good with crystals. It's more of a wizard thing. Plus, also, if we give Clunk sentience, we don't know what Clunk's like. He might be a bastard, you know, a really Correct. annoying person. So, I Correct. say we keep Clunk how he is because he's a stupid <laughs> robot, and we get. A are, are you saying that Clunk? Are Love you Clunk? Are you saying that Clunk Four might become Redus Two? <laughs> true, yeah. It's possible. I can't give him sentience because he might overthrow me. Uh. I'll be pointing at him, like we're all did a team model, and he's literally standing over here by this table, and I'll just be pointing at him. <laughs> Stupid robot over there. Yeah, look at this guy. Look, I, I wasn't opposed to giving Clunk, you know, sentience, but now this cannon. I don't know. Even if he does fix the gem, what do we do with it? Can we is can we move the cannon? Then we just have a cannon inside of a basement. Realistically, if we were going to get the cannon, we have to get the wizards from Kando Keep up here to move it. Oh. And Redis had to go right into their hands. How complicated oh. can their wish be? Could we ask for the cannon to be restored to operating ability in the keep? Like, do you think he could fix it and move it? Or is that asking for too much? That may... I, I'm sure he'd be able to do that. But, I mean, it would be fascinating to study one and replicate it, but Bertram's right. Ooh, I can't help but think there's more we can do. How about we wish for a, a hundred clunk fours instead of putting oh, sentience no. in one? No, no, no. no. One was no. quite bad enough. But then, uh, look... I just wanted to float the idea about the cannon. If if, you, if we're not for that, then let's just put him in the book and save him for later. Uh, so, frankly, I'd rather see the cannon destroyed. It will make notes on the cannon before it's destroyed, but yes. Can't be left here, of course. But I... 
I don't want to keep poor Gazre waiting for long. We should really give some thought into making this wish before the DM wants us to <laughs> come back to this. Uh, we said we could put er, it in the book. Everyone make a wish later. Everyone make we... a perception check, please. Do you be buggered off? Hey. Uh, 28. 17. <laughs> 14. 17. You all hear above you, from from floors above where you just were, these angry, the ghost. loud screams of of not not of anguish but of uh, of anger, oh. of retribution, of. Um, I'm about to have to bust somebody's ass. We, we, can we? But can we restore the, the this keep to, to what it was before? We should we give it back to the ghost giants? Is that what you're saying? Or bring them back? Remake it? Like we could one. wish the spirits of the giants to be at rest, so they wouldn't have to wander like they are. We could just put them at peace. Yeah. That's a very noble thought. Or a hundred clunk falls. Just no, we need this. <laughs> the sound, the sound is getting louder. The sound is getting louder and closer. Let me I like go and loot the body. Go Fifty clunk falls the body. and half the ghosts to be put to rest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're going to... Zikrin, Zikrin's body? Yeah. You're going to lose Zikrin's body? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... So on his person, you you find his spell book. You find the remote control, the the rod he was using to remotely fire the cannon with. You find two diamonds worth 500 gold pieces each. You find a lodestone. You find about 50 gold pieces worth of iron filings. And just a, a a pouch full of diamond dust. Your guess would be is it's at least eight or nine hundred gold pieces worth of diamond dust. Maybe we're thinking of resurrecting mm -hmm. us. But, um, I tried mess around with a wand. Does it does it does, does a cannon come come active? It does not. the uh, the The cannon hangs j just as limply, obscenely limply as it uh, as it had at the end of the of the battle. the The sound is cacophonous and it sounds as though it is on stairs at this point. But 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 the ghost rest. If we must do a save our skins, I hope hope they're appreciative. Uh. The uh, by this by this point, Gazre has 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 heard and has looked up and and can spy things that are potentially happening on the map, uh, and he says, uh, "Friends, if we cannot speed this along, maybe we should make ourselves a hasty exit." And and he hold, he holds his hands out as though, if you wish to, you could come hold his hands. Oh, I'll hold his hand. Oh. No. I'm grabbing oh. someone's hand next to me, <laughs> and I'm reaching out to gas Ray. I'm unaware he's casting a spell. I'm <laughs> just like, oh, I'm holding his hand. Like, hang on a minute. I saw this in a movie okay. where they tricked a genie to get out. It's just going to be the same sort of thing. <laughs> Dick is giving us a ride. <laughs> we didn't wish for this. The hell's out is everybody... <laughs> we didn't wish yeah. for this. Is everybody... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, everybody holding. We're, um, we're, we're holding hands. hands. Yep. Da da <laughs> da da <laughs> da <laughs> the uh... goodbye, Clunk. <laughs> Good luck. The... Fuck you, Clunk. You're oh my shit. god. Are you not bringing? Are you not bringing Clunk? There's no time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh. Some sentience now. <laughs> the, uh, just as the as you see the the three cloud giants who who now have the the ominous kind of red aura and are completely solid seeming like they're definitely in this world <clears throat> are you really not bringing clunk um no <laughs> 
Okay. I've got a better clone. Yeah, uh, you s- execute order. You see, uh, you see. <laughs> uh, does he have a self destruct order? I like, I don't think he does. You see, Clank <laughs> head said. toward them as though as though to guard time for your exit, oh, and no. you're watching this happen. And just suddenly, this the space and the pressure around you begins to rise, and you feel as though you're being squeezed through a tube that is smaller and smaller and smaller, and then there's a pop, and you are no longer there. I've been born again. Um, ah. it, Make a little bless you. It, 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 feels, it feels like it is seconds and hours, and you suddenly reappear, and this is unlike anything that any of you, even at your increased level, have ever seen. It is, there are floating motes of earth everywhere, and there, there are clouds, and you can, it's almost as, as though you can see the wind blowing, and you are just kind of on the, on the precipice of the courtyard of, of a beautiful castle, and Gazray is there with you, and he says, uh, well, uh, welcome to my home, I... I hope that they have cleaned it. Uh, I, I, I cannot be sure. So, there, oh, there may not dog. be any, oh, anyone dog. here. But uh, I, I, in, we love dogs here. <laughs> uh, please uh, join me. Join me inside. And he, and, and he motions, and you can see that there, there are other genie there that maybe they're they're kind of of a lower class level, not necessarily like servants, but but kind of like house servants. And and they see him, and their faces just brighten immediately and spring to life. And they, some of them run to him, and some of them run inside, and it, it's it is a joyous return. And they're trying to maintain their station because they are house servants, but they they cannot hide the joy at seeing their master home again. And and they're all just thanking you and patting you on the shoulders and being overly gracious to you. Um, and they and they lead you, they lead you all inside. Uh, Probably to what would be, have been Gazra's study. They they lead you there, and you can hear him glad handing and shaking hands, and just people just won't leave him alone. But you're all very comfortable in in his study, waiting for him. And so I will say that you have a couple of minutes, um, to discuss things before he is in here with you. I need to think about Clunk Five. Oh, I... We need to think about this wish. We can ah, think yes. about Clunk 5 later. <sighs> or we could think about Clunk at 1. Clunk <laughs> uh, at, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Rita starts penning in his notebook. But yes. it's, it's weird when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> a, a good plan. Can we wish for me a girlfriend? I mean, a clunkette. I want a clunkette for me. <laughs> a sentient clunkette would be an excellent wish. Oh, That's God. just my my Don't two copper weird, pieces. That's, you made it weird. Just made it weird. <laughs> made, made it weird. What do you all mean? I'm trying to create life here. <laughs> Indeed. We gave you the chance <laughs> to to create life, There's and a... you didn't <laughs> didn't take it. You didn't that want life. it. Uh, that guy was boring, believe me. Yeah. Well, well, uh, what if we did this? Uh, what if we wish the magic cannon back at the candle keep, and they gave us a bonus on top of our finder's fee for getting the genie out? It would give me a chance to study the cannon, which I do want. We could wish it back and broken, so that they don't exactly have, like, a working cannon that's, like, powerful and stuff. Was it that powerful, though? It didn't really hurt that much when it hit me. You... Yeah. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't hurt me it. that much, either. He was, it wasn't complete, I feel. Still but do we really want to stage. give these wizards another weapon? I mean... Well, if we gave them an incomplete weapon, it might, you know, counter things for a and, little while. And we could get Redis to study it, too. If it was exactly. Is that any better? Yes. Yeah. What would I do with such a weapon? <laughs> at least that... we can. At least we can monitor readers. So that's you know. With... Correct. He, or we he's... put the wish on hold, and we have a year before we have to decide. Let's put it on hold. I want to meet him again later. I don't want to end this now. You know, now that he's free. Yeah. Let's just let's just put pause on it. You know. Mm. Yeah. 
Yes, I wish mm. we had more time. All right, guys. No, no, shut no, up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Gazare, what? No, the, uh, I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll you, just you, cast you, silence on Redis before Gazare gets in here. <laughs> God, you, you hear Gazare get closer, and, and he is uh, he's happy to be home, but now he's kind of over the the overwhelming thank yous and, and glad hands to be back. Like, yes, yes, it, yeah, I'm, I'm yes, I'm happy. To, I, I have some business. These these this crew of people saved me. I, I but, uh, thank you. And he shuts the door, and he just leans against the door, and he looks at all of you with kind of a wry smile, and he's like, "Maybe the book wasn't so bad after all." <laughs> we could put you back if you want. Uh, wish for so, you to be back. So so my friends, he uh, and and he goes and, and sits uh, in, in a chair uh, near all of you. What uh, what have you decided? Uh, we're gonna are be you going to, to the delayed casting? I, I wish. We're going to be putting that wish on hold. Read us. That's stuck. I wish to give away some cracking dice. <laughs> yeah, I'll say I wish, and then the rest of the words will be muted out because I get silence casting. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I use the spell slot and everything. Is it, it is. Isn't silence? <laughs> isn't slightest silence a radius spell? Yeah, it's it's a range. So I'll I'm going to just in try the to stick it in like its corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> There's not like... an easy place where you can only silence him. Well, never okay, mind we only need then. one person we will to be talk. All silence, that's mm-hmm. fine. We only need one person to talk. It's fine. I mean that, that I I love that. If you you just want to just shut everybody but one person down. Um why don't let's do that. Why don't you guys roll 1d6 oh, no. and whoever <laughs> is the 6 Whoever well, it's gets a, a six, twi- it's a is twenty foot. The it's the only a twenty foot radius center. So if I put the center all the way against the wall, theoretically, it would only be like ten feet into the room. Right. Which right. is what I'm saying. Everybody roll one d six, and if you get a six, you're outside the cone. I got nope. three. The one. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> five. Silence, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are being to silence. Believe uh, me, I tried. Amy, I actually, like I did roll a six. Believe it or not, on my crack and die. I'm just holding so this up to you the just, guy. You just, <laughs> you just silence them out and 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 step kind of out of the way of it. And now you may make the decision for the group with Gazray, or you may end the silence and bring the group back in. I don't trust Redis to talk. Um, Kazari, we are very grateful for everything that you have Smart. offered Smart. us. I'm tackling think, Redis. It's like a silent movie back here. I think, what we'd like to, <laughs> <laughs> I think what we'd like to do is just take your offer to um, put the wish on hold and use the, this spell to, to be able to summon you at a later time um, since this is such a big decision and, you know, we, I think we're just going to wait. That that is eminently wise. Um, where shall I shall I cast the the sensor in that you can recall me? Uh, do we still have the book? Or did we leave the book? one? Well, I, I never I never dropped it technically. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll use. I, the book. I would I would think that since si- since this book has been checked out to you by Candlekeep and needs to be returned. To Candlekeep, I would think that you would have taken the book with you. Yeah. Oh, fuck those wizards. We don't have to give the book back. It's sentimental. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if we want to put Gather in the well, book, though, and then the wizards try to take the book back. Well, he's not going to go in. Well, do you have any? Do you have any other books that that, that are that are, have magical uh, aura put, about them? The wait, spell book or something? Carolus, does Carolus have an actual lamp? When we go into the lamp spell? Yes, he does. Yeah. Can it's we a, put it's you actually in a the physical lamp? lamp. Yes, let's put him in the lamp. Wait, he's actually going in the lamp? It's he a real, it's a real so nice lamp. Them. We we hang out there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I, I mean, it's just if I'm not wrong that it's just to summon him to yeah. Do the wish. Yeah. 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 It's just look. It's for flavor, people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get in this lamp, genie. <laughs> And I'll point to, I'll point you, to you propose you propose that against or maybe along with all the tropes of my people being in magic lamps that I make this lamp a censure to summon me 
Yes, because no one will ever suspect it. That's that's funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he and he will reach out uh, for for your lamp. Yeah, I'll hand it over. And he will begin to. I'll to drop the silence spell now that Gazray and I have already come to an agreement, and <laughs> he will uh, he will begin to cast magics that uh, are. Are definitely foreign to to all of you, even even the the casters who are well accomplished as as to the the four of you are or the five of you are. Um, it's well and beyond kind of anything you've ever heard. It, it must be something that is a, a elemental genie magic. Um, and the um, spell it. the the lamp glows and there's there's. <laughs> there's a... <laughs> oh, that would be brilliant. You have to say, bitch. There is a, uh... <laughs> bitch. <laughs> There's a very a very bright light, and uh, it's almost so bright that you have to turn away from it, and, and you turn back. And the lamp looks exactly as it did, although now it has kind of a red uh, racing stripe. Go faster stripe. All around it, and... Pardon? A go faster stripe. A what stripe? Go the faster, go faster stripe. stripe. Absolutely. Uh, and and, <clears throat> and he then presents it back to Carolus. Is if uh, when when you decide what you want and 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 want to summon me, rub that lamp three times, and then he <laughs>, laughs and uh, and 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 he says no, but but really rub the lamp. No, and no, I but will, seriously. Uh, but, but and, I, and I and and I and I will appear. You. You have you have a year, uh, but then this magic fades after that. So okay. I, uh, I I cannot I cannot thank you. In, in, uh, there there are not words in the multiverse to thank you for what you have done. Um, can I be of service to you one more time and send you back <laughs> and uh, send you back uh, somewhere? Would you like to go back to Candlekeep? I said, send it back to Candlekeep. I don't want to walk all the way back. <laughs> yes. That, uh, that would be much appreciated. Uh, uh, yeah. Take that dog, too. All right, my friend. He, uh, so he, 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 he in turn shakes all of your hands and, and places you uh, kind of together and begins doing what, what you all know is a teleportation circle. He's, he, he brings the, the chalks out and he's, he's talking to you and, and again thanking you. And if you ever come back to the plane of elemental air, we should totally hang out and we'll go get dinner. <laughs> and he draws the circle around, and and he uh, and and he finishes, and he stands up, and again, and he closes his eyes, and he bows to all of you, and then he recites an incantation, and a similar feeling to plane shift earlier, but not not as intense. So things kind of squish in a little bit, but it doesn't come in as tight or in as far, and then, whoo. You are suddenly at the gates of Candlekeep. And if you remember, this map takes a long time to load. Mm. Especially out here in the sticks. Uh, <laughs> and so you just it just up here, and the the guards that are there on gate. No, oh, you shit! Surprise, uh, motherfucker! Oh, <laughs> oh. <Hey guys. laughs> Hello, how, how how are you? Did something just say Great. what's up uh, in the map? The music just said what's up. <laughs> hey, what's up? No, I think I, I think I think Bertram said that. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it sounded like it came from the music. Yes. Uh, well, I guess, and he's looking around. I guess you're back. Uh, well, welcome back. Uh, well met. And he he allows you that he slides the. The, the lock and it opens the gate and you are allowed to re-enter the court of air at Candlekeep. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thomason, we're back! Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just... Do you, do you do that in, in the stone, in the sending stone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us? <laughs> we're back! Just like that. We're back! <laughs> a after just a moment you hear well then come to my office mm. assholes 
<laughs> she didn't get her finger off the button before she said that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you did just yell at her. Just you, you hit her with a yelling, we're back, so. All right, everybody, you know that's a magic word. It's train time. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to her mass. Hopefully she has some kind of um, reward for us. Being that we haven't used our wish yet. And don't mention the wish. Yeah. I don't mm. want them being greedy. It's our wish. It's true. It's true. I forgot she didn't uh, yeah. the wish. So you guys make your way back uh, straight straight away. I mean, it's it's pretty much like always. They're wizards who are kind of like not wanting to look at you guys because you're developing a reputation. And we're jerks. Uh, there's some that just don't yeah. get... Yeah. Some that just don't give a crap what you think. As we're passing and, uh, a wizard, can I, knock, it, can I uh, uh, knock some books out of one's hand? Oh my god! <laughs> like, they're walking in slow motion, just like... <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 uh, you know, I hadn't I hadn't planned another encounter with guards, but I can whip one up real quick. We're the bullies of uh, Candlekeep. No, just that's the wizard. Arrowless and Mina are in the background, just firing uh, off elvish blasts off into the sky. Walking slow motion. Out of the hand uh, of a wizard who looks suspiciously like Mordenkind. I, I think Bertram just walks in to keep like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm please like, forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I trip, I trip, <laughs> and, and, then, and, so and then before you before you make it all the way to her door, you can see that that Master Sage Thomas is just standing at the door with 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 it open, looking out for you. And she's like, "Are you all done playing grab ass out there? Would you like to come in and tell me what happened and and figure out what's going on here?" Thank you. And then she turns and goes and leaves the door open for you. <laughs> you got lucky the teacher calls me nerd and I'll, I'll come into the office to whichever wizard I was currently <laughs> belittling <laughs> uh, th th once you got called out by Master Sage they kind of snickered at you and walked <laughs> off like hey those motherfuckers are in trouble I polymorph him <laughs> into a T-Rex you wish oh my god <laughs> mm. alright here's the story here's what happened we got the book. We found we found the dragon. Oh, I see. So you actually have gone to her office. You're not still terrorizing the patrons mm, of Keep Then no, yeah. <laughs> that was that was mainly just read like us. drive by terrorization. <laughs> you know, we're not we're not stopping yeah. for it. <laughs> uh, she she again is very bemused at all of you, and she's Love she's us, like, uh, yes, well. Well, tell me, uh, tell me the short version, and I'm sure that means you'll tell me the long version. Uh, you can't stop a bunch of angry. How, how, how are things? Did Let's were you able to get the genie out of the book? Yes. yes, yes, yes. We were able to yes, get the genie out of the book. I stomp on Redis's toes. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> he looks at at the at the foot play going on and she's like mm, i never expected the two of you to be together uh so <laughs> the, do you have the uh Wouldn't the book to build claudette <laughs> don't give him any ideas no, uh, <laughs> do we still have the book yeah, do you have the book, the book? i'll, I'll give book. her the fake yes. book <laughs> here it is she she take she takes the fake book and looks at it and looks at you and bops you on the head with it and then hands it back to you. <laughs> Do you have? Don't mind book? him. I have it. It's right here. <laughs> and she and she takes it back from you and, and opens it. And obviously, there's no genie inside anymore. And she and she shelves it. And she says, "Hands, please." Yeah. And you all know that means to, to present smart. your your hands with a tattoo all in. And oh. she will she will in, re recite an incantation over, and the. The additional kind of uh, I have a book checked out tattoo that you all have now disappears. And so it is just kind of your normal we can come in here clearance level tattoo. So you no longer the book is no longer assigned to you. Um, she goes to her desk and she opens the, the drawer and fumbles around a little and comes out with a pouch of coins worth uh, 1500 gold pieces. Is it, you know, 
People say that you are the bullies of Candlekeep, but I must say you you do excellent, excellent work. Um, were there any other any other things that you found that uh, that we might be interested in? Uh, I still have some stuff in the drawer here, if if there is anything. Who said that? Ghost, ghost giants. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, Who said uh, that? Master Sage Tomris said that. Uh, no, I mean, that were the bullies of Candlekeep. <laughs> well, everyone, what stuff everyone you said that. Oh, Every day. Tell us who said it, we'll beat him up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and pr pretty much everybody. If you open the door and look, they're the ones that said it. Pretty much everybody. Yeah, I'll, well, they'll pay for that. <laughs> even, even little one at the tavern thinks that you guys have a bit of an aggression problem. And uh, that's, that's saying That's so. fair. That's fair. Yeah, well, little one needs to it, shut his be trap. Fair, they do have an aggression problem, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are part of this, Bertie. You are this. You are part of this family. Yes, I know. You kind of instigate it, Bertie. It, un <laughs> under I, her um... breath, she says, family, and just chuckles at that. I wish um, we had more to tell you. Well, uh, if... Uh, a dragon has a crown somewhere. That, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's uh, yeah. Have you met the dragon? Have you oh. made contact with the dragon? Uh, the dragon. Well, uh, I, I, she she gestures she gestures to herself and says, "Well, I have met several dragons, but uh, I'm not sure exactly which the dragon is." Uh, it's real, real nice, real dragon. nice fella. What's his yeah. name the again? Bronze dragon, yeah. His name mm. is Ash Scarlet. Ash Scarlet. Ash Scarlet. I can't recall. I, I, yeah, I do not, do not know of him. Um, Has an eye for that. How is our where, where, new where? acolyte coming along? Is he? Mm, yeah. Is he settling in? I'd like to meet <sighs> him again. See how he's doing. Uh, you know, it's it's been a little a little touch and go, but I I think he's actually going to be going to be pretty good. I I'm I was dubious, but I'm I'm impressed. His his work ethic is is good. I don't know if that's because he has a good work ethic or because he thinks maybe you will all You kill. think we're going to kill him. No, we, we said we would kill uh, him. So. But, uh, it, you know, <laughs> it's... I'll check on him. At least sure one of us said it. Okay. Now we don't... We don't... We don't have to both say it. Uh, you know, I will... Uh, if there's nothing else that you wish to uh, apprise me of or, 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 you know, let me relieve you of, then I will... You oh. may re retire back to the What's tavern, the to your room, What's the and I will send... You said there's extra things. Oh in the well, uh, so you, well you you saw that that's where she pulled the bag of money from. Yeah. And she asked if you had. She's offering more money. Anything if we else had that other you goods. wanted to? Yeah, I, I, I can tell you where the yeah. dragon is, and I can tell you where the ghost ghost giants are. <laughs> ghost giants. <laughs> and she kind of laughs. Um, how about this? You you all think about it. Have a drink at the tavern. If you realize that you have anything else that you would like to part with, you know where to find me, and I will reach out and I will make sure to uh, to send your new acolyte uh, to 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 greet you in the tavern. Um, thanks. I wish you a good day. I don't, I don't like to say it. <laughs> I don't like to say it, but but you guys are. We rock. You guys are we good. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> All right, be gone with you. I have things to do. And she picks the, the, the book up and it's not as though she's inspecting it, but she's not not inspecting it right in front of you just to make sure it's not been damaged anyway. I mean, obviously the lock has been just blown off of the side, but she's kind of choosing to ignore that. Yeah. Uh, so you guys finish up here. Mm. Uh, excellent. Well, I'm going to say you make it back to the tavern and tell your rousing stories and have maybe at least two too many drinks. And I think that this has been an incredibly successful adventure.